What's going on, Vod Gang? Are you ready to go back to the 90s? Chandler, Chandler, Dandler, and Joey are coming on tonight on Fox. It's the 90s. We've got a whole bunch of commercials handpicked from the one, the only, Davey Archive channel. Shout out to Dave's Archives. Thank uh, you, Dave. We'll be going back. Back in time. We're going to go back in time. 90s. This is all stuff only 90s kids will understand. Yeah. I don't know why I 90s. feel like there's been like a resurgence of everything from the 90s is coming back. Oh, yeah. Style is now 90s, like too. Like the animals, the, the, the Dunkaroos. Dunkin'. People are Dunkin'. Soon they're going to have those uh, Kool-Aid pops with the sour pills in them. Oh, yeah. They're going to bring those back. I mean, already I was like shopping, and now everything is vertical striped button-ups. Really? I was like, why is everything big, blocky, up and down stripes? Like with the big open collar? Oh, yeah. 3D Doritos are back. Big Doritos are coming. Is True. Pops okay? He's out with all of your mothers, he said. Uh, let chat know. He is with all of your mothers. So, that's where he is. Well, that um, must be a good time. There's a lot of moms out there in the chat. Huge shout out to uh, the Dave Archive here. Make sure you guys are subscribing to this beautiful, beautiful man here. Providing all this stuff. Um, now, before we really get started, I got to say something, chat. We have uh, we have called upon an old friend, and he is back in full effect. I am talking about none other than Xandar. That's right, Xandar. Yes, Xandar is back. Xandar is back. He's better than ever. He's faster than ever. So a little bit of an incentive for those watching live to actually have something to use your points for. That's kind of interesting. He's pretty much a magic eight ball at this point. Sir. So we have some. We have a little bit of backlog, don't we, Lou? We already got two at the start of the goddamn. Yeah. So why don't we do this? So it's, this one's long overdue. 19 days ago. And also, by the way, chat, he's half off now. Because we cut his runtime down in half, I figure might as well cost, cost about half. So you come in, you do a little Goro bet. You're earning yourself something special. The ability to go in front of a giant live audience and ask a Magic 8-Ball question? Are you kidding? The pressure? Again, nothing too serious. Don't ask about a surgery or something, right? Yeah. He gets weird. He won't answer those questions. If you guys come in like, am I going to live tomorrow? Whoa, dude. Too much pressure for Xandar. Let's see. What do we have here, though? Uh, the first one we got, let's go ahead and summon him, ladies and gentlemen, the brand new version of Xandar. Let's see if he works. Sandal. It's Sandal. Whoa. It's Sandal. It's he's, him. He's really here. Xandar, oh Xandar, I summon ye. We have a question here for you. 19 days ago, at the original price of a million channel points, wow. shouts to Rhino55, he asked you this question. Xandar. He says, I shall summon thee. Will Breath of the Wild 2 beat out Elden Ring for Game of the Year? Well, we all kind of know the answer to that one. This is more of a, a fine, we need to tune Xandar and see if he's correct. Right? Well, it was 19 days ago. He didn't know that it would get delayed for next year. But Xandar knows the answer, right? Let's he's see. He's not going to get it wrong, <laughs> right? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Suck. And to ask you this question, I will. Oh, Xandar, what say you? of a weird question. Let me read my crystal ball. Yes! I would say it is so. <laughs> Alright, well, Xandar must be uh, seeing a few, uh, maybe his ball's a little cloudy. Listen, it's not a fraud. We mean scandal. He's not checking the release dates. He's just looking at the Metacritic. Okay, chat? Calm down. What do you mean, Scamdar? Alright, alright, alright. I'll mark that one as complete. Shout out to Ryan. <laughs> oh, how about this one? We'll throw in the other one right now. Ronin187 asks, Xandar, will his GME shares ever moon? Will they moon? I ask you this, oh great Papa Xandar. Ah, good question. Yes, definitely. He said definitely. He said to the moon. He said definitely. Where'd he go? Look at that! My ticker's going off! GME's going up! 
Smoke. Jimmy's popping <laughs> off. It's going, dude. Holy smokes, dude. It's real, man. It's happening. And then Jodo comes in and drops a big fat 10 uh, gifty. Yo, thank you, Jodo. Appreciate you, man. Um, all right, let's go back in time to the 90s now, shall we? And just know that Xandar is a lesser cooldown half off. You guys are just tuning in. GME actually just went up 100% in the past two weeks. See? The problem says for towel. He knows. Wow. Wow. Guys, don't wow. put your financial situation on Xandar, okay? It's yeah. not a good idea. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Just, just chill. Everybody chill. just relax, huh? Don't use your kid's college fund on, on GME yet. Just hold back. <laughs> Hold, boys, hold. Um, let's you see are here. Looking at a live shot of the lagoon Back to the nineties we go. The Grand Floridian Hotel, and we want to thank the Blockbuster Video Blimp. How random is Xander? People ask. I know Xander. Here's the thing. He is a magic eight ball through and through. I looked up the magic eight ball and asked Xander, "Hey, can you just be a magic eight ball?" I believe there's eight yeses, eight noes, and a few maybes. So it's mm. it's right down the middle with good fortune, and the 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 response from him is one hundred percent randomized so he's he's a magic eight ball boys magic eight ball wise what up Today dude wise hydra jota with the 10 gifted subs spooky mcgee wow look at that oh. blockbuster blimp dude what i would give to ride in that actually no that'd be fucking terrifying <laughs> it's one of those prizes you'd probably win like you want a trip around the blockbuster video blimp <laughs> and you're like awesome then you get in there it's just a Big fat sweaty guy. You like, don't even get to go yeah. inside the blimp. You're just in that little oh, box man. below the blimp. There's nothing in there but air. Yeah. And welcome back to the Walt Disney hot World. Air. Oh my God, dude, he's rocking that tuba, Regis. Regis is just waiting for her to be quiet so bum, he can pop bum, off. Bum, 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 bum. Very merry Christmas parade. Oh, we're going Christmas on this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, Regis has some skills. Pretty oh, he wasn't really uh, playing. You fucking tricked me, Regis. Trick you son all. of a bitch. Fake. Oh, what yeah, a faker. Why Christmas now? Why Christmas? Yeah, why Christmas? Whatever you want. Does it feel like Christmas now? Experience the color, the beauty, and the pageantry of a holiday classic. It's the 106th an asshole, Tournament man. of Roses Parade, January 2nd. Brr, the PC. Rose Parade. Oh, my rest, God. Rest in peace, Regis. I love you. All right, Pete. Dude, how scary is the fucking clown right here? Giant, scary-ass clown. Oh, you have to ride in his crotch? <laughs> Ado, what up, dude? Ander, uh, the way I describe my experience with Djibouti is like hanging out with your dope-ass older cousins. Yeah. Cool. That's a that's a big compliment. Thanks, dude. Jake the Snake said, I'm taking my USPS orientation. My God, the videos they play are so bad. Almost burst out laughing at some points, thinking of what you guys would say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what that's like. They got video. Are they trying to be funny in those videos? I mean, some best in the business. Some training videos. They really try to break it up, you know. Yeah. What's with this guy's mouth? Ah, uh, they're all like lazy town people. What is he so smart? Why is? He oh yuck! Yeah. Ugh. It's disgusting. Why would they do this? This is like the opposite of like when they we were looking at Sonic the Hedgehog the other day. They tried to make a cartoon real. This is the mm -hmm. same Uncanny Valley, but the other way. Where it's mm -hmm. flipped. Let's take people and make them look like real cartoons. They're like action figures. Is he using those other? They're like real Fortnite people. Yeah. No. <laughs> How fucked if we go to another planet oh, and this is so what smart. the aliens what? look like? Mm -mm. And they're like, whoa. These earthlings have pores. Gross. And they just have like cartoon skin. Is he using like wax people? <laughs> those other batteries. No. It's <laughs> You're right, Mom. The museum can. Oh my God. Oh, yo, you know what this reminds me of? I wonder if it'll pop up. The real life Bart Simpson. Oh God, dude. Ew. Is so scary. Ew. <laughs> These are even more horrifying than I thought. Actually, these are way worse than I thought. Don't have a cow, man. Don't have Ugh. a cow. <laughs> Make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> so many people hate these. Dude, these commercials are gross. But there's another exact version of Bart. Like someone draw, like someone drew him in this one episode. God, I wonder if I could find it. It's like real life drawing of Bart. It's like Bart and Lisa have like twins that look like them. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't find it. Anyways, this one's creepier, so. <laughs> God damn. Don't have a cow. What is with his mouth? Look at... It's peeling. It's like falling off. Falling right off. Can we get makeup in here? Fix this horrifying demon? Can I get the tape? 
Let's get the tape by Caramba. The copper top tops them all. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Big fat cop top. You think you drum, Pete Rock? I missed a bunch of people, but thank you every single one of you. Got him. Oh, be right. My yeah. Hydra and CTS. Mr. In. Elk. Blue cool now Jack. pop it off. What up, dude? Yo, this Tom. Holidays. Everybody coming in here? Yo, what up? What up, guys? Spooky thank you for McGee. joining us. Season. Remember to stock up on the absolute necessities. And while you're out, you might also. I know we never dealt with the snow, Lou, but imagine coming home on a snowy day with a blockbuster video. That's got to feel even better. And some hot cocoa and hot buttered popcorn, dude. Oof. Got some Ooh. food. There are over 9,000 ways to make tonight a blockbuster night. All right, you guys ready to watch Mystic River? Blockbuster ah. night. Discover a whole new sea world. Cheer as sea lions surf along the Cheer as we torture animals. <laughs> Encapsulate them in a tiny pool Cancel. when they should be living in the whole ocean. Whoa, what the fuck was that? In the world of gentle giants, manatees. Now that sea world was literally just like shitty food and then a guy doing caricatures and then the whale does a, a splash. There's a little bit more going on here than I thought. Yeah. Like, what was this thing? It's like a giant aquarium, right? reveals the mysteries of the sea. Then immerse Whoa. yourself in the world of gentle giants, manatees, the last generation. And with a splash of laughter and a dash of fun, you'll enjoy Shamu's... They torture all the animals? <laughs> That's what oh. they do. Happy Harbor. They do be doing sea that. World Orlando. Yeah, and for no good reason, too. Just for fun, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta have fun at work somehow, Justin. Discover it new all over Do the again. trick, damn it. For the first time... Uh-oh. It's the mouse. Ever. Oh, don't show it! Don't show it! Oh, this is—it's the live-action one. The other live-action one, not the new yeah, live-action. They just came out with one. another one. I like the old live-action one. It's pretty good. I've never seen this actually. I remember it. it Had—I think it's the guy who did Liu Kang. Am I wrong? Kipling. It kind of kind of looked like him. That's what I thought when I was a kid, and that was the same guy. But I don't know if it's actually the same guy. There's the mouse again. Hey, huh? I'm gonna take all your ad revenue. <laughs> Pretty please, and you're don't even try it. Say, yeah, we can. I'm quick to call my attorney. But how? Just call for this free vacation planning video. You'll discover oh, you can get all a Mickey to phone. Do. Even find Whoa, they got a Lion King Disney ride in Walt Disney World. Yeah, World's always That's been better. That's fucked, man. I bet they have Aladdin ride too. Savings on a complete vacation package. It's a limited time offer, so pick up the phone now. Call 1-800-901-9009 and make the dream come true. Hell yeah. Yes. Call me before I call my attorney. Uh -huh. Ado, cup of manic. Yo, what up, dude? Unnamed Butcher, WNA, Life Runner, Chief Christopher. I remember seeing Shamu when I was a kid in Portland. Memory. Mm. I never saw you? Shamu. Did you? Did you ever go to SeaWorld and see Shamu? And I all think that I stuff? went when I was real little. Yeah, I don't. Really? I don't. I don't think I've ever been. Alton offers extraordinary acceleration. Damn. Burning that Steering fucker out. Spot. And breaking. We think you'll find it reassuring on those days when it seems like everything. Yeah, I like the commercials where they're showing off their car, like making other cars crash. This is way better than yeah, just. It's like Mad Max commercial. Yeah. Nissan all. I want to know, like, my car can pull off Mad Max shit. Not mm -hmm. that I'll ever need to do it. But, but if you had to, I'd rather the features see that. are there. I'd rather see that than just a meadow yeah. just going by. It's like, no, dude. Get that fucker like going under monster trucks and stuff. Like I like the when they show the crash test stuff. <laughs> yeah, That's the best. The dummies. Yeah. They didn't use the dummies that have the guts inside, the clear ones. So you can like see the, the shit spew out of their neck. Now Lisa. Is Pop's sick. Pops is with all of your mothers. He told us to tell you guys he's with all of your mothers tonight. Ultima GX. So he's gonna be very busy. For seven fifty down and two thirty nine a month for thirty six months. Don't go away. We'll be back with more of the Walt the Disney World's Merry, Merry Christmas Parade. Wow. Sunday, something's gone wrong in Metropolis. Whoa, dude. We need to watch these on the Patreon. The, the old school Supermans with I've Christopher Reeve? never <laughs> seen Reeve Superman. Ever. The first one is really good. I've, I don't think I've ever seen the other ones. Really? Yeah, the first one is really fucking good. The new subway's out of control. This is Lois and Clark, though. Yeah, this was like oh. a... This is like a sitcom sort of. Sore my folks. He's the 
So he, this was the Ripley's Believe It or Not guy where I put him up on the screen. Everyone's up getting weird. Right? This is Ripley's guy. The day? Have they stopped it yet? Is it? Or is it the Believe it or not. Yeah, the line. I think you're right. Peter Scolari guest stars Lois and Clark Sunday here on ABC. The New Adventures. Yeah. Uh oh, I forgot the cereal. Look, look at them. Come on. Oh, my favorite honey bunches of oats. Mine too. We'll get two boxes. No of kid ever line. said that in their whole life. Look at what's next. All the other colorful boxes. They have just fruity next pebbles one? right there. You guys are going for that? I wonder what's keeping the kids. I'll get them. Huh? The kids aren't here. Oh. I'll get my favorite, Honey Bunches of Oats. With crispy corn and wheat flakes and crunchy oats. Mm, I do Wang. like Honey Bunches of Oats. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Bunches. It's good. It's the cereal your whole family will love. Free What's the box? one where they have like extra bunches in there? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the thick bunch. Oh, because you want the bunches. Like, you don't give a fuck about those flakes. You want the sugary, clustery, crystallized. Oh, bunches, dude. You get those dank nuggets Pizza. all up in there. Coming in with that tier two, Kaiju Cost. What's up, boys? Happy Wednesday. I'm excited for Lord of the Rings at Stendo. We're going to probably hit that next Monday. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Buckle up. It's going to be four hours. Is Pops watching. like Mom Santa Claus? Exactly. Pretty he much. He comes down your mom's chimney. <laughs> every once in a while, he tries to hit every house in one day. <laughs> Come on, guys. we got to get other other foods. We can't survive just on cereal. That's a lot of fiber. What do we do now? Get more milk? <laughs> <laughs> honey bunches of oats with almonds or honey roasted. The one cereal your whole family will love. You know, it's not the caffeine that helps Yo, this guy's it. had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> he's been, uh, I don't think he's drinking those, the powder there. I think he's huffing it. It's rich mouth. He's just breathing it in. It's like, you know, coffee hits great if you just kind of scoop the top. And you just... ever have coffee? I'm growing aroma. So, Folgers can just suck the caffeine. What? They still give you the richness of aroma. That's aroma. just how jacked up he is. Roasted mountain shit. grown beans. Here, smell. And now, regular Folgers. And decaffeinated again. Is Amazing he pressing time. like the Spanish TV button? Spanish coffee. You know what I'm talking about? The <laughs> SAP button? <laughs> and when you taste it, you'll flip. Oops. Vulture is decaffeinated. Aroma's so rich. And you're not going to sing the jingle? This is like the one company that's got like the best jingle. You can taste it. Oh, they ruined it. I don't think they had it at this time. Come on. Turkey's not the only thing left over after the holidays at the J.C. Penney store wide after Christmas sale. There's oh, that logo. Dressing. Woo! Dripping with this right here. Every 90s movie had a, some parent wearing this that exact. grandma sweater, yeah. Yeah. On women's sweaters and I swear the, the dad in Jingle All the Way. <laughs> or stepdad. Stepdad, yeah. On shirts and sweaters that are tasty. Children's Wins. Oh, dude. Are Absolutely true. $39.99, you'll find handsome quilts to relish. This is just a taste of the huge savings throughout the store at the after Christmas sale. Hurry in and fill up. Doing it right. Yeah. All right. The VHS tapes for this episode have been brought Shout to, to you Dave's by Archives. Tele-Hell, the only pod. It's a double fresh breath. Do you know who? Damn, bring your turtleneck. About to steal your girl. Well, it Cut that your fresh breath. And it freshens your breath. Double, double. Mm -hmm. Double mint gum. That was a fresh sexy tape. double mint gum commercial. Is that a real twin or is that just him <laughs> reimposed two times? <laughs> It's just a man staring into your soul, eating uh, some gum all slow. What's hey, wrong with that? You want some gum? Hey, you want some of this, huh? You, you want some ABC? Kind of the building face, uh, quite a bit. Blue Blue fresh breath for you know who. That's the double freshness huh? you get. With Wait a minute, milk hold gum. on. Huh? This whole thing was about double having double fresh double breath for you know who, and then the little girl comes up and hugs him. I don't want to be. You don't want to be that gross, Grandpa. He's got but, the smelly breath, and no one wants to hug you. He would have just said for the ones you love. He Blue said fresh for fresh breath for you know who. You That's know. Who. Yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> Didn't have to. Yeah. With double mint gum. Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. Double double. 90s also had a lot of that sound in there. I don't. I can't even describe it. Let me see if I can find it. That's the double freshness you get with double mint gum. Well, that. It's what a is sample. That? It's like a. <clears throat> it's like a dog bark, but not. It's probably what? just a generic sample that gets used all the time. It's probably something from like a, some sort of drum machine. It's a dog, isn't it? Yeah, it's a MIDI sample. I know it from Dumb and Dumber too. Like uh, Dumb and Dumber had a lot of songs that had that. 
Freshens yeah. your mouth and it freshens your breath. Double, double, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. double mint gum. Sundays share the joy of the season. Oh. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Wow. Little girl wanted a painting. <laughs> On America's Funniest Home Videos, then Mama J needs a new dress. What do you think of this? To Barbara Bush. On our own after videos, Christmas Sunday on ABC. No uh. Barbara Bush. Meet the stars when we... Whoa. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes, it's me. Hello. We return yes. With the grand opening of Planet Hollywood. Whoa, is that JCVD's roll around opening with of fucking Planet Mickey? Holly Minnie? Dude, he's Whoa, fucking. he just stole Mickey's bitch. Yes, she it's was. mine now. Over at Planny, Ho Planny Hollywood. Yeah, it went out of business. Ritz is fucking dangerous, dude. Still one of those things you can just pound. A whole row of them fuckers. Yo, now they have more flavors of Ritz. I had garlic Ritz the other day. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's they fucking dank. Shit, dude. I know yeah. there's always like the fancier brands that look like a Ritz, smell like a Ritz, but have the other shit going on. Yeah, Yo, this shit will fuck you up, man. You'll eat a whole row and go, wow, I just ate 5,000 calories. How did that happen? Yeah, I've always loved Ritz over every other cracker. Saltines, a cl close second. Oof. I love me some saltines in my soup, you know? Oh, sometimes I just like them because they're nice and salty and good. You don't even really need to put anything on these fuckers, though. That's oh, yeah, they're perfect by themselves. But you put some peanut butter on there, Woo! Woo! or some cheese whiz, Woo! Woo! put them in the chili. Woo! So buttery rich, so delicious. Oh. They just God, it's making me mouth. want some right now. Yet they're golden baked, so they crunch when you bite. If it melts and it crunches, it's a Ritz. Melt and crunch in your fucking mouth. It's so good. <laughs> Baking for the holidays is so much fun. Especially with these new Crisco sticks. Crisco sticks. Butter flavored They're sticks. Measured, and you keep them in the cupboard. Oh, dude, imagine so mistake that for butter and put it on your toast. Mm -mm. Oh. Lots of great recipes. Thick. Like the ultimate sugar cookie. Compared to this cookie that uses butter, Crisco Music might be DMCA. I don't know. The Sugar Plum Fairy. Like, someone will grab it. Depends it depends which recording it'll be a cover. It is. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a cover, because I'm pretty sure the song's public domain. But... For a different way to spice up dinner. For a different way to spice up dinner, take a new look at cheese. Think of cheese as a zesty way to perk up your chicken. Or cheese as a tangy topping Cheesy for chicken? tastier fries. Awesome. <laughs> Cheesy fries. Just add cheese to everything. There's no issues with that. Awesome. Topping for tastier fries. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. Yo, Freaked Your Mom, Kay Hardy, KJ, Red Run, Hazy, all you guys. Billy Witch, Kaiju. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How did we ever survive without cheese? It makes everything better. And Frisbee coming in here. Frisbee. What up, dude? So this is why I'm fat. I add cheese to everything. I followed what the commercial said, and I regret everything. <laughs> yeah, cheese. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> it really does. Anything is better. Just a little bit of cheese. Dude, you ever have nacho fries at Taco Bell yet? No. I Bro. haven't had Taco Bell in probably eight years. If you get a chance, just get the nacho fries. Yeah. They come with nacho cheese. I think about uh, getting the, they used to have like an old kind of set menu from there and it had nacho cheese with the cup with, and you get your chips and you dip them in. Mm -hmm. And then one time I like threw up all that cheese because it was like that runny oh, gooey cheese. Oh. I could never really go back to Taco Bell ever again if I'm being honest. The nacho fries are good. It fucked me up. It was really disgusting. <coughs> It's like too easy to eat a lot of it because there's something about it. It's unnatural. It's not. It's mm. it's just like so good. It's wrong. Vegetable syrup. <laughs> something in there. Made me sick as shit. Just powdered <laughs> cheese. <laughs> the Jenkins have a Nestle Toll House Christmas. Oh. oh, fuck, dude. I got five on these retro commercials. A little diarrhea. I was just talking about you. I had Taco Bell. I know. <laughs> yeah, this is talking about that. <laughs> and Fox is, oh, snap, commercials from my childhood. That's right, only 90s kids, dude. Shout out to all the 90s kids. kids and all the, you know, the wannabes. You wish you were us, dude. Yeah. 2000s kids, well, some, whatever, 80s kids, psh, get out of here. Well, some people argue, be like, Louie, what year were you born? 1990. 
then you weren't really like experiencing uh, the 90s. Bullshit, because 1993 through, I mean, 1993 sucked anyways, because it was still like <laughs> just the 80s. 94 is when it started popping off, dude. They always do that. They go like, no, nah, dude, you had to be born like 85 in order to be like a 90s kid. No, then you could up. like Get You could here. be in the 90s and actually you weren't even making memories till like fucking 1998. Dude, if you were like 10 years old when the 90s came out, like... You don't even get to experience all the cool shit that the young 90s kids got to experience. Like Barney, Power Rangers, yeah, Blue's Clues. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I think that makes you a 90s kid if you're literally born in the 90s, but what you gonna do? Just saying. At Christmas. Don't forget the Nestle Toll House morsels. Santa! Use rich, creamy morsels and get the world's best tasting cookie. Rich, creamy Nestle Toll House morsels. This Christmas, make your house a toll house. You're invited to the 16th annual Toyota Come on Fun. in and get a car. Wow, look at that Camry. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful color, huh? Mm, red hot, cherry hot Camry. Camry. It's like lipstick Camry red. For 229 a month with automatic transmission, dual airbags, air conditioning, AM, FM, cassette, power steering, power windows, and AM, locks FM, and, and a cassette? Oh, my God. dollars a month. And the best all-star lineup of new... These fuckers are still running today. Yep, there's probably, like, all these cars in this commercial right now are probably still on the road. This isn't someone... Someone's grandma is, is driving this right now, dude. Still Toyota's holding up ever. strong. At the 16th annual Toyota-thon. New year, new cars, great Toyota-thon deals at your Toyota dealer now. If you now. think Christmas is over, then you don't know about Treasure Island's Christmas clearance sale. What? Because every fabulous Christmas tree, every string of lights, God, every damn. wreath, garden, Dude, you could lose your kid in there. I'm Be gonna... careful. <laughs> Does the camera back somewhere? Where the <laughs> fuck are we? In an ornament. Every Christmas floor sample is on clearance sale at the lowest prices of the year. Every Christmas item, beautiful oh. Christmas dinnerware, candles, cards, and gift wraps. Now that shiny shit that catches on fire. Tinsel, yeah. Yeah. Now at incredible bargain prices. You see a lost kid? Yeah, I saw that. Is on... <laughs> Look at his oh, at the lowest prices of the year. Every Christmas item, beautiful Christmas dinnerware, candles, cards, and gift wraps. Now at incredible bargain prices. And Christmas crafts all over the store on once out. a year Christmas clearance sale at Treasure Island, a most unusual store. Treasure Island. I wonder what they're doing when it's not Christmas time. It's just pirate shit. Coming crafts to... not available in the same stores. Every store's different. What does Treasure Island do? Is it just like a Hallmark store where they just sell like Cards and they just, wrapping paper and they shit. They just would. It sounds like one of those things that they would just change with the seasons to a different store. Almost. Oh, it's oh. the Easter store now. Oh, oh, it's the it's the Halloween store now. Treasure Island. PC Tech and his he giving off a gifty dude. What up, man? Thank, Thank you, you PC Tech. Hello. Would you care to try some Kellogg's Crisp Mix? Mix? Are you kidding? I love this stuff. Hey, Sally. They're giving away Kellogg's Crisp Mix. They got free samples over oh, here. Dude. Come and get it. Every lady in this commercial has a Karen haircut. <laughs> Her face, ready to complain about these samples. What? Free samples? I just paid for those. But I paid. Crispix mix? Where? The irresistible taste of Kellogg's Crispix mix, with its savory mix of flavors and tempting crunchiness. Any more Crispix mix? Imagine you accidentally put some milk in that and eat it. Mmm. Oh, oh. oh I just got this new cereal. <laughs> ah, salty. Oh, oh, it tastes like seasoned salt. <laughs> oh, savory. The irresistible taste of Kellogg's pretzels and milk. Kellogg's <laughs> Crispix mix with its savory mix of flavors and tempting mm -hmm. crunchiness. Any more Crispix mix? Well, I suppose we could make another batch. It's the snack that gets oh. eaten and eaten. So if you want to have it, a... all right, you people, back up. You bite it, you get the fuck Kellogg's out. Crisp... She's getting pounded. The irresistible taste of Kellogg's Crispix mix with its savory mix of flavors and tempting crunchiness. A mistake oh, you Christmas only make mix? once. Well, I suppose we could make another batch. <laughs> Big pukers, yeah, dude. I can't get down with this shit. When we found, when you guys said like people season these and put them in the microwave, I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, here you are. Thank you, sir. Stole that from ya. Big pukers. It's the for my line that gets eaten and eaten. So if you want to have a get together, Ugh. get together the crispix. The They're good crispix. when you eat them, like in a handful. But if the, you accidentally ate that for cereal. Like your mom made Crispix and put it back in the box. Oof. Smex. Great party. Why, thank you. Getting together for the big game this weekend? Oh, then get the boys. Together the Kellogg I mean, there it is. No, that's that's, that's not Crispix the mix, mix, though. That's just the Ex cereal part. Mm. That's okay. I've had that before. Mm. We've heard some of you are waiting for a rice a with a bit less salt. Well, here you go. Rice. A third of the salt. Rice a Lots of great taste. <laughs> Good thing there's plenty to go around. The San Francisco. 
Oh, I missed that jingle. Wow. I forgot about that. Oh. Rice Aroni, San Francisco tree. Francisco tree. San Fran tree. Guys got a lot of Roni out there in San Fran, huh? Yeah, I can't really does. afford anything else. All I can afford is goddamn Rice Aroni. It's expensive to live out there. How much is Rice Aroni out there? <laughs> $20 <laughs> box of Rice Aroni in San Fran. <laughs> Tastes great because they're made from five ounces of milk. How do they do that? Take it this way to make it into a rock. Oh, you get the kids saying that Don this things on the commercials. Oh, always makes you want to buy. Then they shoot it to the milk. Oh, dude, and this is a. They... I remember this commercial, yeah, man. Yeah, with the kid drawings explaining yes, what the fuck I, happened. Yes, this made me want to eat a grilled cheese every time I saw the commercial. Mm. It gets back. It busts in with milk. Milk makes Kraft singles Busted taste great. Busted milk. R A N C. It's late. <laughs> Again, don't worry. The Nutri-Grain bar commercial. Dude, your house always was stocked up on Nutri-Grains. And I remember one time I was like hungry and we had to go to the fair. And your mom was like, eat something before you go to the fair so you're not hungry. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I ate like a whole box of raspberry Nutri-Grains. <laughs> It's a lot of just fucking chemicals. It's because my parents never bought them. I was like yeah. so excited. There's no need to make anything and no need to heat something up. Don't dirty a dish. Well, she didn't tell me specifically like eat some leftovers. She just said eat something, right? Grab so something I, from the my little kid brain goes, dude, I'm going to eat some Nutri Grains. Oh, I thought it's healthy. So I ate a whole box of Nutri Grains and then we went on this thing called the tornado. Oh. Do you remember this? Yeah, I remember And I was this. like, guys, I don't that was the same feel day, so good. The fair or yeah, whatever. That's why my puke was like literally pink. Oh. So we were spinning, well, and I'm like, guys, I don't feel so good. And you guys are like. Hey. It's one of those that spins while it yeah, spins. Yeah, it was. It's a fair ride that spins while it spins. And you can you, spin the handles to make all, it go faster. So me and other cousins were spinning, and Louis going, stop it, I'm going to throw up, stop it. And we're fucking going and going. And he goes, stop it, I'm going to throw up. And we're like, throw up. I don't know why we were cheering you're, you're you going, on to throw up. You're going, if you like cheese enchiladas, <laughs> and you started singing a song about food. I'll never forget that. And Pop's like, please don't puke on me. Please don't puke on me. Because he was like, just knew I was going to throw up right on him because I was right next to him. I remember we're spinning it, spinning it. And then I remember last thing is you put your hand over your mouth and like a little spurt of, uh, it's <laughs> a little spurt of like raspberry come shooting out one of his fingertips. Like, oh, dude. And then it just went all over. And I bet the people outside the ride just saw like a spirograph planing. Like, oh, it's wet. The other rides, oh, I didn't know they squirt you on this ride. Dude. Just like making it wet. And we rain. got off the ride, it was everywhere. And then after that, I felt fine. It's we went a, on like all the other rides. It was like good a, times. It was like a spiral design of like raspberry shit on the <laughs> fucking floor. It's so gross, dude. And because it was spinning so much, none of it like hit us. It all yeah, just it went all out. just out. Went out the car. Yep. It's fucked. Yeah, Nutrigrain. <laughs> the air supply. Fucking blow chunks. Be gone before he gets here anyway. Well, well. Oh. Sorry, guys. So much to stop you. This is like the businessman snack. Mm-hmm. Breakfast. Who takes, healthy. He takes his snack seriously. Here you go. Oh. Kellogg's Nutrigrain bottle. That's the that's the one that uh, did me in, dude. It, that's, that's the one. I think it was strawberry. Damn you, Kellogg. Uh, thank you. Your strawberry preservatives. I'm some kind of health kick, huh? I have real fruit. Mm. And a delicious crust that has. Dude, they're so grain. good. They're delicious. I crush. would like buy a box of Nutrigrains right now. Do they still exist? Make you thirsty as fuck. Yeah, they make you really thirsty. Nasty. They are pretty gross. I think. You, you I get like down? them. I still like. I like in my head. I still like them. I haven't had them in like 20 years. Like a fig. I think that fig. was the last time I had one. Fig Newton <laughs> at the fair. Ugh. Hey, notes. No preservatives. Tell you what, guys. Make it up to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll drive it tomorrow. Get out of town. Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Bars. Start your morning. With a cup of coffee. The apple cinnamon one's clapped. Mm. Oh, right. If you're driving, I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Open Jeez. your mouth and Damn, help Don't hostage. ever let your kid do this. You never know what he's going to put in your mouth. <laughs> like the, just, it's like, like just a spoonful of bugs. He's held hostage, too. Close your eyes. Here comes a big surprise. Oh. Oh, thanks, mm. sweetie. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't trust little kids just put shit in your mouth. I found this in the couch. <laughs> just imagine every kid just puts their booger in something. Oh, room. God. Mm. Cereal. What is it? Just one for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Yes. It's nice and weedy, and it's not mushy. Crunchy. It's really crunchy, right? Yep. Give me got the... it out of the cat well, box. <laughs> the cat loves it. Well, it's 100% whole grain. Let's see. Oh, good, sweetie. <laughs> it's wheat. It's Thank whole you grain. So much. It's really crunchy. It's corn chicks. 
Todd. If you haven't tried deliciously crunchy whole grain wheat With bananas, checks, you gotta check out checks. Rice checks. Todd. <laughs> For years, something stopped me from buying Dawn. This, a piece of fruit stood between me and the best way to clean grease. What? But I'm a lemon nut. Just love the smell. So I gotta she have... She just really loves lemons. So she didn't buy Dawn dish soap because of lemons? Those damn lemons. It's goddamn lemon. I'm a lemon nut. I'm a lemonette. I gotta have my lemons. Why didn't she just squeeze some lemon juice into her Dawn dish soap and call it a day? Have a lemon liquid. But there wasn't any lemon dolphin. Because no one's got reliable lemon liquids. Unless it's a real lemon. Until now. Introducing Lemon Scent Dawn. Oh, New Lemon, lemon scent, scent Dawn breaks worse. some grease, takes it away, and helps keep it away. Lemony it's fresh. so, like, artificial lemon smelling. It's, like, fucking awful. Lemon. Dawn. Now we're talking. Lemon down. New Lemon Scent Dawn takes grease out of your way. Oh. <gasps> Walt Disney World Pleasure Island! Hollywood! Who's up there? God damn, look at him, dude. In is his that, fucking prime. Is that Brooke Shields? My hair is crazy. God damn, this guy's, yeah, this guy's face weird. has muscles. Even Daffy Duck has weird hair in the night. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, JCVD. Who? Bruce Willis. Demi Moore. <gasps> the ha! It's nice watching the 90s commercials because I actually know some of these people are. It's Rob Schneider and Timon. Schneider. <gasps> Wesley. And the, the tiger. People are losing their fucking minds. I mean, dude, not only are Mickey, Timon, and Pumbaa Tigger, Pooh Bear, everybody there. But also, Jean Claude Van Damme. And this is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. And this is before social media. So Dude. if you saw this person, it was like a real life fucking unicorn. Dude. And it'll never happen again. It'll never be this hype when you see a celebrity making copies. <laughs> Nowadays, you see Justin Bieber walking down the street. Oh my you're like, God. Hey, what's up, Bieber? Whatever. But now it's like, dude, back here? Holy shit. Rob Schneider is a carrot. The Hulkster. Is that Charlie Sheen before he went bad, bad? Bad. Who's bad? <clears throat> Sheen's bad. There He's he is. He's real bad. I don't know what he did. That lady in the back looked horrified, though. Whatever he did. People should be afraid. Celebrity worship in its prime. Here it is. Damn. If you had that picture autographed by Arnold himself, that's a dream come true right there. kind of got Terminator eyes right there. Hi, bitches. How are you? A liar. Dude, his eyes are like, he's got freaking sensors in there, dude. You champion, you. Why aren't you here? Huh? What's going on with you? He's calling you out, dude. Dude, that's what he does. Rosie. <laughs> Christmas from Betty Rebel. <laughs> oh. The Flintstones. I love that the 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 horny guy is right behind her. Like uh, I don't know. Isn't that the mask when he's all horny? <laughs> I don't know about this one. Oh, it's that kid. Who's that celebrity? He's, like a, he's in uh, Stand by Me, right? Let's play that game, Chad. Who's that celebrity? I don't know. No, no it's idea. the kid from It, right? No idea. Right. Oh boy. Ah, oh, rest in peace. That guy was awesome. That was River Phoenix? Oh, that was River Phoenix. Oh. And now it's a break. Yes. Hi, guys. Good to meet you. How you doing, Joe? One, two, three. Holy fuck. That is a huge crowd, dude. That was not River Phoenix. Chat, you're confusing me. That was Stop it. it. That's not him. Chat's arguing now. Planet Hollywood. You got helicopters in the sky. You got stars on the ground. It's UFOs. We so don't even have the planet part of Planet Hollywood lit up yet. Let's go inside. Come on. Let's go see what's going on. What are we going to see in here? Having a Planet Hollywood at Disney World, huh? 
I think it's pretty good. I was here two weeks ago. It was a construction site. I can't believe it. Looks it cool. This is amazing. Stallone's right yeah, I walked through the one in Vegas. Nothing like this. Well, this was the 90s when it was popping off. This yeah. place kind of died out like at the end of the 90s. Are you having a good time? I'm having a blast. Well, let me suck in. Yeah. <laughs> let me do this. Wait. <laughs> We're standing next to Cindy. Oh, boy. I don't know, dude. 90s Rosie can get it. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah? Dude, you ever seen her in uh, Garden of Eden or whatever? I forget which movie it is where she's dressed up in a dominatrix outfit. No, I haven't. She's looking pretty good. I ne- No, I just... I'm just saying. She was always the most strangest celebrity. Like, she was in Ren and Stimpy. I know. That's why she's cool. I thought that was so weird as a kid. I was like, what's that lady doing in, in my cartoon? Sucking in. I'm not looking it up. It's something for Louie to look up in his spare time. <laughs> Yo, Statham, think of it. They're 56 months, dude. Propo and uh, Dawn of Morning with the brand new. Brock, what up, dude? The world stands for family entertainment. It's all about family. It's all about family. It's a place for the family, the children. This brings us together. Good place for me to bring my maid and her son that I don't know <laughs> whose father it is. Get entertained, see the great memorabilia, have good food. Remember my brother, yes. very proud of the whole thing. Well, everywhere you look in this place, every nook and cranny has the most incredible movie paraphernalia. So much history. Not only the big things from the movies, but all the different, look at this, all the different photos from what them. What is that? Costumes. There's Martin Landos from Ed Wood. Remember that one, Ed Wood? Remember Ed Wood? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, it's from Beetlejuice. That was dope. A headless Superman. Angels in the outfield, probably. Yeah, yeah, he's always been a Disney fan. Hey, it's that guy that everybody was geek gawking over. Yeah, he was in, in uh, 90210 or whatever. Yeah. Luke Perry, is that him? Yeah. Matt up? Perry. Yeah, I grew up with this stuff. Everybody I know is there. My wife's name's Minnie. And you guys have got kids. Luke Perry. Yeah, do they have a Luke Perry. Yeah. Favorite uh, adventure uh, ride? Three days. I think Peter Pan. We're going Peter to Band. Disney World. We're going to Disney World. Like, Will you know, We tell them we're going to go down here, and they just go crazy because they, they know what it is. It's, it's an amazing There he place. is, just staying there like a normal so, human. I love Bruce Willis, man. He's cool as fuck. It's a place where you can really mix fun. This fucking guy, man. God damn. You know, people think that he's dumb, but, dude, he made Rambo. And he made Rocky. And he, like, made Rocky. Like, he did the like whole thing himself. Like, he did he? it. Yeah. Like, this dude is amazing. I never think anyone... I never see anybody talk shit on him, really. I see, well, like, whenever they make fun of him on, like, Saturday Night Live, they're always like, hey, uh, oh, oh. I like, think they're just going for the voice. Right, but, but like, um, he's, like, really probably one of the smarter people in Hollywood. Family, family entertainment, movies. Oh, and land the plane. It's that big. It was really kind of I check out that. I was trying to do a voice. You're dead. Now that's cool. Got watching Cobra for the first time. And I think he insane. owns like most of this company of playing Hollywood. I thought Arnold was the one who owned it. Maybe I think they they, all got they, there's cut. like a co ownership type Maybe thing. Maybe all these on. celebrities are in the ring of people who own it, huh? Now, this place is so large that you can take a bus and it looks like a postage stamp on the ceiling. It'll give you an idea how big that's but, a well, bus. Because he just has that voice. I got buzzed. Put it in a wall and it's big. Are these gangsters? Fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, I guess they'll fuck you up. <laughs> the bus from speed. The bus from speed. Okay? So cool. And you know what's interesting is that Sandy Bullock is still in the bus. <laughs> that's how professional we are. I get to play with Bruce Willis tonight. <gasps> Kenny G. Oh, that's who that is. It's on the tip of my tongue. Kenny G. I love him in the um, cameo commercial. Yeah? Have you seen that? No. There's like a little girl who plays the instrument that he plays. I forget what he plays. Saxophone. Yeah, yeah and he's like, she's like doing a thing, and then he, she calls Kenny G, and the girl freaks out, and her hair's like Kenny G. It's pretty good. The last thing I saw him in was like Kanye hired him to play in his own living room or something. Isn't he in uh, <laughs> one of those Lonely Island songs, too, or something? Probably. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, Michael Bolton. Never mind. What a, what a fucking move, huh? To hire Kenny G to play in your living room. Yeah, just to be and he and they didn't even hang out in the room. He was just there, but I'm like, what does that also say about Kenny G? I think he's like, hey man, two millions, two million, it's dude. Just- yeah, fucking, I'm gonna play. I mean, he probably loves playing anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I'll play in Kanye's house. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you're playing with Bruce. Damn, they get close. Getting when the full talk. profile on Jesus. him. Jesus, huh? look how close he's like looking past her. They, she's they're so about close. to kiss. 
Something about his hair, huh? Brings the ladies in. Cool. I've never yeah. played the blues before. She got a lock on the door. Oh, this is a place for all these celebrities to come and sing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Goofy. Goofy's fucking rocking him. Look, he's trying to improvise in the corner. You can barely hear him. Willis got some pipes. Mickey and Minnie is fucking grooving. Dude, imagine well, being that it? person in that suit. You're just like, dude, I'm on stage with all these celebrities and I'm dressed up like Mickey, but I don't give a fuck. This is awesome. Yeah, pace yourself. Favorite That's like thing? the probably high point of their life. Now, Walt Disney World is going to be Planet Hollywood. What is the name of this video? It's right up there. What a marriage. What a combination of these two. The party's still going strong. It's going to be going on all night. So, have a good time. Every time I'm born. That's why I was saying it's so sad that he can't uh, speak well anymore because he was a great singer, dude. Yeah, I didn't see the full story of what's going on with uh, Brucey, but I just know he's like done acting now, too. Yeah. Right? He's like completely done. Or he was doing some stuff, but he was wearing earpieces and they were feeding him his lines and stuff. It's also yeah, that. it's sad, man. Getting up there in age, boy. Did anyone else claim Xandar since we've last looked? I'm just curious. I'm very just excited. About, very excited about New Xandar. No one's claimed him. He's probably up for grabs right now. If you guys, uh, it's New Xandar points. I'm just saying. I mean, every 30 minutes today, every 30 there's minutes. a special deal. Normally, it's not going to be this often, but <laughs> since it's the first day he's back, People we're doing a special deal today. You guys are scared because he's he's not a Scamdar. He is a real Magic 8-Ball. Sometimes Magic 8-Ball says try again. Maybe your question's too crazy. It takes a few tries. Just saying. People don't have 500k? Okay. Okay. We will have to do a little Goro bet or something at the end Start of the Start saving. Thing. Stop betting on, you know, Goro when he's down. 500k a lot. When there's archers there, what are you doing betting on Goro? How much is he? 500k. Used to be a million. Okay. Was a million. Was. Just letting you guys know. We cut it in half today. I even have to cut it a little bit more. I don't know. All right. We got some more here. Gotta go back in time. Let's see what do we got? Oh, Just some blockbuster goodness. I'll be there. Oh, turn it, turn sound. Oh, but it's like a fucking cover. It doesn't matter. It's like a blockbuster. If cover. it's in the vods, it'll still get you. Or is this like the original? I'll be there. It's not, but even if it's a cover, you can't do it with. Uh, you can't second, put it on your second. vods. I'll be there. Oh, it's oh. a blockbuster cover, dude. They'll still grab Don't you thing. love DMCA? It just ruins They'll all the fun. There. Can't even watch fucking commercials. I'll be there. They'll be there. But then you go there and they're all out. You go to Blockbuster. Hey, you have speed? Keanu Reeves? Nope. Fresh out. The worst was when he wanted to rent a new video game. Because like when they wanted, had a new movie, they'd have like a whole wall of just that movie. Yeah. But you want to go rent fucking Mario and Luigi game just came out. There's like two copies. Two. And Three you're copies. just like, oh, well, you to, And it's like we never got there early in the morning, the first one at Blockbuster to get the new rentable fucking brand new game. I mean, I was. Because I, li I used to live down the street from a Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. I would walk there like right when they opened up. And then I'd be like, oh, do you guys have this? They're like, oh, not yet. I'm like, can you check the drop in? I'm like, oh. Oh. Fine, I know this whole job is literally just stacking tapes, but oh. I guess I can look in the drop-in. Oh. And then they look in there and they'd fucking find it. I'm like, thanks, asshole. Yep. You tried to just tell me I couldn't get it, and it's right there. It's right and I had to there. ask you. Now, also, the worst part is you'd go there wanting to rent GTA 3. It's brand uh -huh. new. You want to rent it. And then you're like, well, they don't have it, so I guess I'll get, I don't know, Def Jam Fight for New York again because mm. I'm here. And I'm like, i got to get something because my weekend is this. Whatever yeah. we end up with. Yeah. GTA 3. Hey. Zima. Azima. Oh, so gross. Is that Post Malone? That's his dad. You see Post Malone? Is that Post Malone? <laughs> when it went by quick, it looked like Post Malone. You and me, we come from different worlds. <laughs> Pre Malone. <laughs> Pre Malone sucking down Zimas over here. God damn. <laughs> A girly drink? I don't know, dude. These are some manly men.
Whoa, his pussy froze it dead. It makes your asshole frozen? Oh, no, please don't freeze my asshole shut. <laughs> what's, the, what's the implication here on Zima? What? Gives you ice cold booty hole. Cool. Damn your ass cold. Zima. It's so cold. It'll chill your ass. That ass is not animal friendly. <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't know. I hate Bud Miller, but they beat Zima a long way. I never had one. I had a Zima uh, when they re-released them um, maybe like five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. Fucking gross. I'd rather just drink a Smirnoff. Like, they're even how, worse than Smirnoff. How different is it from Smirnoff? It's ice? like black cherry Smirnoff. Ew. Yeah, it's really fucking gross. Fuck. Give you frost shield in your ass. <laughs> a little frost stomp. It's a little ash of war. Ass of war, frost stomp. Got a hoar, hoar frost butthole. Pinch it off. Cool. Damn, your turds must be like icicles in the bowl. <laughs> Spicicle. <laughs> guy, guy, Zima. Guy farts, the room gets 10 degrees colder. Baby, baby, look like it's gonna help. Let me, uh, do we have 90s music or something I could play instead? There we go. Tonight on Fox. Whoa! Here comes Bradler and Chandler. They're dancing the night away in beige. It's Khaki. a it's a cack off. At JC Penny. Come and get yourself some fucking khakis. We're having a one cack of a time. Get that pussy all covered in cack. Woo! Khaki swing. The gap. We just invented khakis. <laughs> There'll come a day when you can take your sweet time getting into your own photograph. There'll come a day when your photos will be so sharp, everyone will know Cousin Minnie's not really Joe Dad. And there'll come a day when you can bore friends with vacation pictures while still on Whoa. vacation. Dude, the pictures did not look Cousy that clear on that fucking camera, digital dude. Digital camera, smart Endeavor 3500 IX camera, and 35 millimeter superior film. Three reasons why superior film is today. You know what makes Coors Light special? This guy's already awesome as fuck, dude. Special. It's thick. It's perfect. Almost anywhere. Anywhere there's a fan craving a taste of the Rockies, that's where a cold Coors Light belongs. If somewhere... An athlete is playing sports, and someone else, a fan, is watching him play sports. God bless this well-rounded man, bringing Coors Light to everybody in the crowd. He's just resting all those Coors on his belly. I was going to say, yeah, how heavy is that fucking tray on your back, dude? He's got the shelf to help it, you Oof. know, get the leverage under it. So. Ouch. Cold Coors Light belongs. If somewhere, an athlete is God playing bless sports, this man. and someone else, a fan, is watching Anywhere, there's him a play thirsty... sports. Well, Patron, then that's where I'll, I'll be, be there. Because that's, that's a nine dollar beer right there. He's starts singing, "I'll be there." <laughs> now who wants one? <laughs> Whenever you're, you're thirsty. You sir, with that putter, put that stick down. You will not make this putt. Perfect fashion, ladies and gentlemen. Please fashion your seatbelt. What the fuck is she holding? Magic fashions <clears throat> in the air at Old Navy. Fashion, darling. First class fashion. Woof. Woof. Woof, woof. For me, it's Paris, Milan, and Old Navy. Is that the old lady from Incredibles? Oh, Edna Mode. With Old Navy. And my dog. Yes. Shop there often? Bad child. The one name people still rely on is Cellular One. Hello? Falling to his death. You hear, I just wanted to call you, tell you I left before I die. I shoot, my shoot, it won't work. My shoot. With Snapple's new win nothing instantly game, the desire to win nothing. <laughs> I like that. It sounds I like, like a... the app Snapple Facts, personally. It sounds like a Xandar. <laughs> Your fortune is nothing. You win nothing. <laughs> You're starting to catch on. That's it, number seven. Stay back there, number seven. Way to lose, baby. With over Damn, a million prizes, up. nothing like no rant and no phone bill hiding under Snapple. Yeah, caps. good day, You'll sir. You'll never look at winning nothing the same way again. Woo! Fuck. 
You ever win anything cool off of a little contest like that? Mm. Besides like free fries or whatever? I feel like the only thing I ever got was like redeeming a free cereal box mail-in giveaway thing. I got free tickets to go see Chromio one time. Chromio? The, Which is the band Chromio? Yeah, Chromio. When aren't they kind of newish? When they did you do I, this? Was like two thousand. They're not newish, but eleven they're not like when we're kids. Two thousand twelve. Oh yeah, yeah. You went and saw them? Yeah. No, I couldn't. I had work at Subway. Well, god damn it, yeah. dude. I was really sad. I was like, I really want to go, but I have to go to work. What was yeah. it? What, what, what? How'd you win it? It was at Jack in the Box. You had to like just put in your email or whatever, and I got free tickets. God damn, Jumbo Jack. Yeah, I was pretty pissed that I couldn't go. Yeah. You have neighbor want a Mini Cooper? God yeah, fancy damn. footwork guys. Yeah, I actually I've seen them live two times after that, so it's okay. Stuff is in here. Victoria's Secret introduces Angel. Uh oh, Victoria's Secret, Charlie's Angels. A revolutionary space age fabric is now the sexiest bra in the galaxy. The bra of the future is here today. Angels 2000. Only at there's always the ladies Victoria. that got the like super crazy. State of the art, like space, the same stuff that's on the the fucking Mars rover, whatever's in our bras. Yeah, and then guys, we just get like raggedy, shitty. Until now, we got good undies. polyester blend. <laughs> this will last three months with my ass. My ass will tear a hole in this fucker. But ladies always got the space age technology. I'm wearing space age technology right now. I baby. got you on that's that right, shit. Baby. I'm telling you guys, fellas, fellas, don't let the ladies have all the secrets. Get yourself some of that micromodal, whatever the fuck. We got to get a sponsor on undies, dude. Somebody redeemed his Xandar, Damon said. <gasps> Someone redeemed... Was it Damon? Redeemed his Xandar? Somebody... This is a good screen to redeem his Xandar on. Do you think Damon can have a question for free? I think so. Yeah, Damon, do you have any questions for Xandar? Damon, if you have a magic eight ball, yes or no question, you should really ask for Xandar. Because Xandar is working, folks, and someone just redeemed it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Xandar. It's Xandar. Oh, great, powerful, and wise Xandar. 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 We have a question for you. Question for you. A Dapper Zapper asks, do it go down? And with this, I ask you, Xandar, do it go down? Do it? That's all he wrote? Yeah, do it, go down. Do it, go down. Do it, Xandar. Do it. Okay, let me think here. Getting a lot of signs, but most of them are pointing to... Yes! It do go down. It do go down. <clears throat> Just like that. Now we know. Just like that. I guess it do. I never had a doubt in my mind that it went down, but... It do. It do go down. I, hey, you guys were saying, oh, he Xandar doesn't know everything. He knows that it go down, and I'm pretty sure it do. So Damon has confirmed. a question. What that thing do? What that thing do? It has to be yes or no. It has to be no. yes or no, Damon. Yes or no. Uh, magic. Are you trying to pull the man out from the curtain <laughs> trying and to expose break, us? He's trying to break Xandar. It has to be a <laughs> yes or no question. You can't break Xandar. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for your question, David. Don't worry. All right. It do go yeah, down. How are you, Truman? Vital signs Is Lou a cuck? Oh, God. Please, Xandar. I don't know if we should ask Xandar. You got to like ask that. him. Yeah, kinda, uh, Damon said. It's kind of a mean-spirited, so I don't know if we, I don't know if it. Oh, great and powerful Xandar. The question from none other than your boy Dame. Streaming live on the Twitch platform. Make sure everybody's following and watching your boy Dame. He asks, is Louis a cock? Mm, interesting. Let me see here. A gaze into my crystal ball shall reveal the answer. It's misty, doesn't look so good. Oh, it's starting to look pretty good. Oh, wait a minute. No. This response is a very heavy no. I knew all along. I am not a cuck. Not a cuck. You're lucky, dude. That was close. I Wait, got. I, he tricked me. I thought it was gonna be a yes. You're lucky, man. He got out of that one the skin of your fucking frostbitten Zima asshole. Oof, it was close. Sheesh.
Food only at Victoria's Secret. How are you, Truman? Not a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Davis said he knew. Oh. He had to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to make sure on these. I can't blame people for what they want to ask Xandar, dude. Sometimes you want to ask him something you might have the answer to. You know, you just want to double just up. test him, yeah. Have a professional. The movie of the decade. It's the miracle! Okay, this movie's stop, good. Stop, stop, have you ever seen Truman Show? No, I haven't, actually. Actually, really good. An accurate 24 valve V6. I was always confused about what the Truman Show is. I thought it was, it was a show, and then he's, he's doing a movie living in a on. show. But is the Truman Show an actual show? Yeah, but he's like, he doesn't know he's in a show. He's living in a world that's all fabricated for a show since he was born. But the actual show that aired on TV called The Truman Show was a real show? There was a... Sh Wait, there was a Truman Show on TV? What was the first show that like aired The Simpsons? Wasn't it called The Truman Show? Or am I thinking of something totally else? I, I might have a... Oh, you're thinking of the... the what's her face? <laughs> what am I thinking of? I Tracy know. Ullman. Tracy Ullman show. <laughs> True Man and Tracy Ullman. I think I my, mean, if you my brain them together. just kind of, my brain just kind of always <laughs> clumped those together. So I just never knew what the fuck was going on. A little bit of a mandala brain making shit up kind of effect there. No, I've never seen it though. He's it's trapped. Good. He's trapped in a TV show. Well, he doesn't know he's in a TV show. And that's the show? Well, it's the movie. Yeah. So it's like Running Man. Now it's like you're in a show. You don't know. It's kind of like you ever seen that Joe Schmo show on uh, <laughs> Spike TV? Joe but way Schmo more Joe intricate. Sir. Like his whole life has been a show. No. Yeah. I have to see, there's a lot of show movies. Deep cuts. We're making some deep cuts now. I mean, it's a 90s day. What are we going to do? Dell, thank you for the five months. And Rai Rai, thank you, dude. It's Another an month. Oh, yes, man. Beyond Infinite, Rai Rai. Like the Acura NSX. Joe that Shapower. is a fucking badass car. Look at sequential it, multiple Not that one. Injection NSX. Like the NSX. It's four-wheel independent double wishbone suspension. Like double wishbone. It's comfortable seating for five. Like two and a half. NSX. Ooh, that rich mahogany it's interior. The TL from Acura. The true definition of luxury. Yours. That's cool and everything, but just show the NSX. Like, I don't fucking care about that other car. Austin Powers. Damn, that looks so satisfying. To be that to be that man who gets to drive that thing every day for work. Probably just putting all kinds of shit under there. Will it go flat? It's like coming to work with some shit. Be like, hey, I just want to see if I can how flat can I make this Nintendo DS? See how you can flatten shit, dude. See, I think it'd be more interesting to like do like uh time. meat put food down. <laughs> yeah, you put like a steak in there, boom. That's a flat steak. See how flat you get a sandwich? Because the entire pending Dude, put a grilled cheese under that shit? It'll oh be like a God. cracker. Oh, yeah. Has just been flattened by a machine with a chip that's up to twice. Whoa, look fast. how flat that laptop is. And it's curvy. That MacBook is curves. Power look, that book. shit was pricey, bro. Power book. Oh boy, this is like a fucking smash mouth music video right here. Body once told me. This is so 90s. Oh. At the attic vintage clothing store in Las Vegas, oh. the only thing that's out of style is using American Express. So bring your Visa card. Yo, his whole number was just on the screen. Yep, free card. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Introducing new Jolly Jellies from Jolly Rancher. Sweet fruit, oh, Jolly these Jellies, were good. Fruit taste, but Jolly Jellies are soft and springy. Boing, boing. You know, man, I think we're lost. Clear across America, the one name people still rely. That fucking little kid had a goddamn phone. Thank God they'd all be dead. You know, man. Sir. I think we're lost. Children were lost. We'll probably never make it home again. You'll probably never see your parents ever again. I'm sorry, children, but now we go into starvation mode, and we have to start picking jobs for each other and learn to live in the forest as a tribe. 
It's gonna be like uh, Lord of the Flies. We're gonna have to eat the fat one first. You guys are gonna have to keep me because I know how to cook. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. important. Martin, we're gonna have to eat you first. You're a little bit chubbier than the rest of the kids. It's just how this goes. We're, we're gonna, gonna have to just eat your arm first. You'll be okay. You'll live for a little bit. But after a while, we're gonna have to eat the rest of you. And then we'll move on because the rest of your meat's gonna go bad. This is how we're gonna survive, children. Um, actually, it's totally fine because my dad gave me a cell phone. You live this time, Martin, but soon. <laughs> <laughs> soon. I don't know how, but I'll find a way to eat that bastard. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. My dad gave me a cell phone. All those other kids are like, what the fuck? This kid has a fucking phone? Do you know how much a cell phone was back in those days, too? No need to eat me, not today, sir. I have a cell phone. With and the odds bar. that they'd have fucking service out in the forest <laughs> yeah. with those shitty-ass cell phones? With a dedicated <clears throat> satellite dish so I have full coverage. Across America, the one name people still rely on Damn is cellular one. And I, little motherfucker. That's a good scout. That's a, he gets a cell phone badge. It's a very hard badge. It's a very expensive badge to get. You I think were. the badge of not being eaten is probably the best badge. <laughs> but he's just waiting to take that away. Yeah, chance. I was in Boy Scouts when I was a kid. <laughs> what is the hardest badge? Do you remember? Like, what There's is the ultimate badge? There's a lot of badge? different badges, right? We got any boys, ex-Boy Scouts? What is, like, the creme de la creme? The, like, hardest, most well, craziest badge? The hardest thing to get is Eagle Scout, which would mean you'd have to do, like, tons of different badges, you have to learn all the different knots. You have to like know all this different shit. You have to be in it for a long time. To Getting get it. eagle. So once you're eagle, you're just like, boom, I could tie a knot. I can make a fire. I can fucking yeah. purify water. Just give me like two minutes and some sun. I only made the first class chat. Sorry. I wasn't an eagle scout. Talking to a girl badge. But first class is still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Leadership badge. I did uh I did Leather working badge. I did, uh, we shot guns. That was a badge. We did archery. That was a badge. Losing virginity badge. I don't think that's a badge. It's a very rare one. That's a really special secret <laughs> badge you get from your scoutmaster. For bicycling, you had to do a 50 mile bike ride in eight hours? Fuck. That one was hard. I did that one, actually. I rode from uh, Featherly Park in Anaheim Hills. Yeah. All the way to Angel Stadium and back. Fucking shit, dude. dude. by the time I got to oh that 7-Eleven uh, that that's on that bike trail, I like called my dad, like, can you come pick me up? And I still got the badge because we... I did the amount of miles, but I was like, it. my legs can't go any further than this. Yo, dude. fuck that. That yeah. is insane. Yeah, I was never part of that shit. I always saw it from afar. It's like, that looks like a lot of work, boy. And everybody else had, like, mountain bikes with different speeds, and I was on a BMX bike. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> You're like a beach cruiser one speed. Dude, I was on a GT <laughs> Thumper, bro. Like, everybody else was on, like, oh, I got the low speed one. And that's why you see this fucking kid pull out a cell phone. You're like, yo, this Boy Scout shit's pay to win. It's bullshit. This kid's got faster bikes. And this... I got a cell phone. It's fine. We don't have to do that. We don't have to make a fire either. I have a fire starter kit. All right, you win this round, Mark. Fast travel badge. Oh, I is he was, eating oh, the <laughs> gasoline? <laughs> I he took it right out of the car and just... Mm, yeah. Man, diesel's good today. I gotta make my shift go by faster. Diesel's hitting hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that fucking Coors riff. Fucking whip that chord. Like, if you had to pick, like, a beer like this, which one would you pick? Like, Budweiser, Miller, Coors, Rolling Rock, like, that kind of shit. What would you pick? I'd almost rather not. <laughs> Just Mine water. was always MGD. I used to go for Miller Genuine Dress. Is Heineken in that? I would bracket? say Heineken's a step above. Oh, all right. Right? But if you said Heineken, I would go for, like, Newcastle or something. Okay, yeah. I guess Bud, but I don't know. They're so fucked. I'd rather drink water, honestly. Yeah. Though. And Stella would be right there with Heineken at the next level. Yeah, that's, right? like, the next level up, yeah. I think, personally. I went to go see that hockey game, and we stopped at, like, the first bar when you walk in, and it's, like, Bud only. And I was like, hold on. We're about to pay. And I was like, 
aren't there other other bars here? Like, oh yeah, you go down there and get a mango cart and go down there. I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. About mm. to pay ten dollars for a Bud Light. Oh, people want that too. They're like, I don't want this mango cart shit. I want my Bud Light, brother. Bro, that fucking mango cart hit so yeah, right, good. dude. If you guys have never had that, I don't know what is that golden. Is it Golden, Golden Road. I Golden think, Road yeah. Brewery Mango Cart. Shoot. My personal favorite beer is Pliny the Elder, and I think that's Pops too. Mm. It is a tasty beverage, real light too, easy drinking. Do you think Heineken's the same level as Bud Light? I kind of thought so. It's like a stinky, cheapo kind of beer. Heineken is a small step above it's those. Like beers. a half. Step, yeah, like a maybe. half a step. I, maybe I a feel half. like Newcastle and Stella and all those are like a full step, while Heineken's like in the middle between those two. The only reason why I'm saying it's a half step is because fucking 007 was drinking it. Yeah, and, and Austin not, Powers. And, that, and Austin Powers. <laughs> it was the drink of James Bond Don't for a touch while. My Heine, baby. And I was like, oh my god, it's a high class beverage. I mean, Pierce Brosnan's drinking it. <laughs> There's only one mile. You boys want to drink of this? Come on up. I'll squirt a little bit in your mouth. I high mm. taste. A little bit of that diesel right in your mouth. Pucker up. Coors, the original. I like Stone IPA more than I like Arrogant Bastard Ale, personally. Mm. Guess we're just going to push this, this is thing. one of the most painful spirits. Ooh, I want to watch this so bad on the Patreon. I've never seen it other than clips where you showed me a lady's boobs when we were like 14. Mm hmm. You're like, want to see boobies? I was like, I've never seen Dude, it Dude, I watched this movie a hundred times. I probably just showed it to you because I love Lethal Weapon. You Weapons. showed me boobies in the opening scene where she jumps out the window. Here's what happened. I showed you Lethal Weapon 1 at my grandparents' house because I love Lethal Weapon 2, and I didn't know that scene was going to happen. You made me seem like some sort of freak who likes to watch girls jump out of windows. <laughs> no, we were kids. We weren't 14. We were like, I don't know when the movie came out, but we were really young. I I'll was just like, it. I remember there was boobies in number two, so I figured there'd be boobies in number one. I'm, I'm like, yo, you, this movie's good. We should go watch it. I'm telling you, I'll never forget it. It was oh. too impactful in my life. It is a fucking weird scene. Yeah, it started with It's that. a weird scene. Corrupted me. Oh, I can't watch this. It's going to be... I want to see that so bad. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> He's got such a slappable face, doesn't he? <laughs> is it his voice? You have the right to get it dirty! Oh, Rock. I still don't think he should have gotten slapped for telling a joke, not. though. That's fucking stupid. Oh, Christopher. Oh, Christopher Rock. A new feature has just Damn that Ultima. The new Nissan Ultima's you have the right to be slapped! Of ...standard features and amenities. Something that makes its exceptional quality and craftsmanship even more exceptional. And while you'll find it built into every new Nissan Ultima... Ooh, that wood interior. That shiny wood interior. Plastic That's that wood. luxury car mm. interior right there back in the day. It won't be building for long. 1.9% APR financing for a limited time. You know, we said the Camrys are still around. Are the Altimas still around today? Yeah. Is this Altima still being driven? Nissan's Germany? makes really good cars, too. They're not as reliable, I think, as Toyota, but they have better performance. Those Camrys, boy, I see them. I see the Camrys. At your Nissan retailer. Stop by aisle five for Clairol's herbal essences. It takes you where no shampoo Take a whiff. has gone before. With all natural botanicals and organic herbs. Yeah, this is literally a cooming commercial. We didn't get the joke when we were kids, but herbal essences was all about girls just jacking it in the shower, jelling off. What's going on with this? J they're jelling. My girlfriend came home with herbal essences the other day. I'm like, babe. Oh, shit. What are you doing in the shower? We got to have a talk. <laughs> with all natural botanicals and organic herbs in pure mountain water, it will leave your hair. Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is about as horny as uh, commercials get. The fuck. The fucking shampoo fucks you? Beautiful. Like, this is even more horny than Girls Gone Wild. If you think that's great, try the body wash. <laughs> oh, fuck. This lady fucks. Try the warming sensation version for your butthole. Herbal's herbal essences, a totally organic experience. Everyone looking for the uh, herbal essences. We are sold out. I know everybody wants it. Yo, this lady it was knows. was Dr. Ruth the so sex lady. Beautiful. She was like Sue Johansson before Sue Johansson. Is that actually Dr. Ruth? Yeah, I think that's what chat's going off if about. You think that's great? 
She should have held up like a cucumber and the, you know what I mean? A cucumber, a box of condoms, and the herbal essence. <laughs> like, what's in her cart, dude? Like, get yourself a cucumber, the body wash, the butthole wash, the nipple wash, the warming sensation, carrots. Yes, <laughs> carrots, eggplants. <laughs> Put it in the freezer, though. An eggplant might snap on you. Be careful. They used to show this between cartoons? Yikes. Gosh. <laughs> Clairol's herbal essences are totally... I know herbal essences get you all fucked. Yeah. That's why I use it. Organic experience. I spray that shit in my bee hole. That's why you're in the shower for so long. Mm. It's taking a lot of time in there. <laughs> Yo, MGS123 coming in with a tier 3 for 86 months. He says, happy 86 months. I'm about to board a flight to Singapore for six months for work. Catch you guys on the VOD. Thank you, Yo, MGS. MGS, huge supporter of the show and everything we do. Everybody show that man some love. This guy, dude, MGS is an amazing person, dude. Thank you, man. And good. As have a safe trip. And uh, Singapore's dope, dude. Enjoy it, man. Shout outs. Sloth 4K, thank you very much. You ever been to Singapore? Nope. It's fun. It's clean. Hot as fuck, though. The only other country I've ever been Hot to in fuck. Mexico. Dude, Singapore. Mexico's pretty lit. Singapore, you ever been to Mexico? Nice. Uh, no, I actually... It's right there, Justin. I never really... No, I haven't, no. It's pretty sick, dude. Never. I was thinking... Eh, maybe. I might go soon, but... You dress light for that Singapore boy. Dress light. Pop. Super clean, though. I've never seen a place so clean in my goddamn life. Like, mm. I wouldn't be afraid to eat, like, a dinner off the floor at the subway. That's how clean Singapore Isn't is. Isn't Singapore where that kid got in trouble for spray painting and then he got, like, caned life, or whatever? Like life in prison or something. No, they, shit. like, caned him in public. Yeah, really? yeah. Oh, shit. It's, uh, it's very clean. What the fuck are we looking at? How close did you get to the thing? Oh, is this the fucking Godzilla? Yeah. yeah pretty close. Godzilla. This is the one I wanted to watch for the, the <laughs> movie view. I don't think I've ever watched the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Special first showings May 19th. Godzilla. Vern is taking hula lessons. Vern wants Edna to think he's exotic. So Vern invites oh, you had Edna a hula. to hula. Is that Samuel oh, no. Jackson's voice? Edna wants something tasty and healthy. Yum! Garden burger. The burger with no meat. Edna squeals with delight. Look. Vern is putting on his grass skirt. Edna Get wonders burn. when all the other guests will arrive. Yeah, no. Discover Garden Burger. All natural, really tasty. Yo, end of story. I because actually like good, Garden Burgers. Just... They're not like a substitute for a burger, but they're still pretty good. Oh, veg patty. Yeah, oh, yeah I great. love veggie patties, man. It's ever they're really not like them. a burger whatsoever. Yeah. But they're good. Mmm. You know? I wonder if those is it I wonder if it's like those Mediterranean. Uh, what do they call them? Falafel? The balls? You ever I don't had think a falafel? I've never had that, no. You never had a falafel? Mm-mm. If I may, I'll show you a picture. You'd be like, oh, yeah, you, you've had a falafel, dude. Falafel? Falafel? Falafel. Oh, I think I have with you guys before. Yeah, these, like, these, these balls. They're like fried veggie balls. That you does never, you never got down good. with one of these? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's beans? These are good, dude. These fucking clap. They look good. Never had a never, never had myself one of these garden burgers though. They're good. Now I it's used all to get impossible. those and the morning star burgers. And uh the veggie patty at Subway is pretty good. Oh yeah, you were tossing down veggies. Dude, dude you gotta take it, you gotta grill it with onions in the toaster oven by itself. Mm -hmm. Then you put it on the flatbread. Then you put the chipotle sauce on it. Then you cook it Just again. Just reliving Subway experience. Dude, I had to make my sandwich like myself. There's no Way I could go to Subway and get what yeah, I want. Great. No one else can be trusted. Today, nope. a breath of fresh air blew into the NBA when a 19-year-old kid made his debut and stole the show. Mad. He, he played with such emotion. It's very simple. He had eyes in the back of his head. <laughs> Before he played, you could get seats. That's why they call him what they do. Yo, they got Magic Johnson's credit card number and up there. that's why I put my credit card on the screen. Life is, you never know what you might want to do With next. the shorty shorts on. With the American Express card, it can be anything you like. I like this background music, though. You can never, ha you can always do more with American Express. You boys ever have hush puppies? I can't say I have. Yes, I have. 
Uh, what is a hush puppy? It's actually? like just fried dough chunks. Hush puppy. Just dough? Yeah, fried dough. Oh. Like I, I bit into it thinking it was going to be like a french fry, and then I was sadly disappointed, but I was like, oh, it's still good. But what's in the middle of that bitch? He put some butter on there. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like a little mac and cheese ball. Nah, that's some butter. That was mac and cheese, boy. You got me. If we're having some mac and che- fried mac and cheese balls. Fried mac and cheese balls are a thing. Have you ever had that? That's what I'm... I've had those. Do they have those at Slater's 50-50? Woo, sheesh. Woo, have me woo sheeshing, dude. The only... Almost... About the only way you can make mac and cheese better. Put it in a fried bowl. Yeah. Woo! Mmm. Are rich people taller than the rest of us? Taller? Um, I think that most of them are short guys, aren't they? Right. How tall is like Bezos? How tall? Is How Bezos? tall is Elon Musk? He's bigger than Bezos. Elon now. Musk height. How big is Elon's height? Oh, he's six two. Six two. He's pretty tall. What about Elon? I mean, uh, what about uh Bezos? Elon's fifty. I don't know. Bezos. What? How tall is Bezos? Yeah. Five seven. Yeah, five seven. And it makes me feel better. Zuckerberg five uh, seven. I'm taller than these guys. Cool. Bill Gates is five ten. Fuck. He's right there with me. He's pretty tall. He's staring at me with his money eye. Are their loved ones more deserving? Short King syndrome, right? Is that what it is? Of an airbag. Yeah, rest in peace, Slater's Was fifty fifty in Anaheim created? Hills. I used to go there all the time. Mm. I actually knew a lot of the waitresses because I worked at the subway literally right next to it. So I would give them free stuff, and they'd hook me up with free stuff. And so one time I took a date there, and they just comped the whole bill. Woo! And I was like, okay, well, I'm still going to pay $40 in tip because, like, you know. But that's probably why they closed, right? I mean. <laughs> I mean, I think they closed because they were a health hazard. Look yeah, at this shit. Yeah, and COVID, too. That is bacon, a patty, a giant fat patty, a greasy old bun. That's peanut, a peanut butter peanut and jelly. Peanut butter oh. and jelly. Yo, I know it sounds gross, Chad. That's what you guys are saying. What the fuck's in there? That's peanut butter and jelly. I know it sounds gross. It fucking collapsed. It was so good, dude. It was disgustingly it good. It fucking collapsed. You they had a you really hurt. spicy 50% uh, brisket, 50% bacon with like ghost pepper stuff on it that me and Pops would get on my birthday sometimes. Oof. Woo! With ice cream. My God. it was. This is like the most dangerous thing you could eat. And it came out looking not as pretty as this. Most of the time, it came out looking dirty. I would sloppy. eat the I would eat the monthly burger because they would have a monthly special. Oof. And one of my favorite ones was like a, it was like an Italian burger. Like it had like spaghetti or something on it. It was so fucking good. This is what it would look like. Yeah, that's more like. God, it looks like something look out like. of like Elden Ring. It looks like an Elden Ring boss or something. <laughs> <laughs> Tarnished. Gargantuan Gert, goddamn! Yeah, this thing comes out, dude. It's fucked. Holy shit, you're gargantuan. What up, man? Think of the five, dude. Hungry, stop. That's the thing. You see the other picture, you're like, I'll have some of that. That is all peanut butter. And this is blobs of jelly. Elden dude, Burger. <laughs> this is making me hungry looking at it. I used to take my uh, Subway tips and I'd go buy like a big thing of fries and ranch. And they had this ketchup that was like bacon ketchup. Mm-hmm. And it was so fucking good. Fucking Scarlet Rot Burger. <laughs> it didn't look this pretty. If it looked this pretty, I'd be more down. But it came out, it would be looking like that other one, dude. Gnarly. They died? That whole company went under, huh? Uh, I think the one in Huntington Beach is still around. Okay. Slater 50-50, dude. Just... Oh, yeah, they got ones like this. I'm about to make everybody hungry, but Jesus, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, like, how, how do you even start? There's a whole onion at the bottom. Where the do you start? The one with the egg right there, that one's the original Slater's 50-50 burger. That one's the best one, in my opinion. Woo, sheesh. All right, all right. I'm making everybody hungry. With these evil Elden burgers. <laughs> Elden burger. Get it solely for their enjoyment. Are we the only... Great, I gotta get an aioli burger. Company. Talking about Umami Burger, that place is pretty good too. That place is really good. That doesn't think so. Century by Buick. Yo, I'm fasting over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Full of amenities for under twenty thousand. Loaded for under twenty four. Century. It's commercial by Buick. blows. A luxury car for everyone. Yeah. 
check this out. Hey, Remember I've this lady? seen her in all, a lot of things that I didn't really watch. She was, she was always I on there. I think she was in 90210, isn't it? Tori Spelling? Or maybe it might be the wrong lady. I, 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 I mostly know her as um, Austin Powers was taking photos of her. Hmm. He goes, again, again, I'm spent. Oh, again, I know who you're again. talking about. Yeah, Ivana Hump a lot. Yeah. That was her name. Yo, Darren Hump dropping the 1999. Merry fucking Hump Day, boys. Love you guys. Love you too, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I had her mix up with another lady. Color your hair. Stop. And look at this. It's Clairol's new nice and easy rich conditioning color cream. And it's absolutely she was a tall lady. She was in Third Rock from the Sun. Remember that one? Ah, yes. Yeah. A show that got a lot of love, but I never I watched it. I love that show. It was about a group of aliens pretending to be humans on Earth. Yeah. That was really cool. Is that where uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt, John Steve Levitt? He was on that from? show for sure, but I don't think that's where he came from. I think his first thing was probably something else. She's like 6'5. Yeah, I always just knew that was the tall lady. The tall lady in the 90s stuff. Yeah. For starters, it does. But I mean, look how tall she is, and she's giving it to this lady from the back, <laughs> blowing her back out while she's doing her hair. It doesn't drip. But the incredible thing is now the conditioner. Lady Dimitrescu. Travels with mm. the color. By the way, where are the fuck's Resident Evil Village DLC? Yeah. Fuck is that? I was thinking about the other day. I was like in the shower. I was like, man, I miss Resident Evil. Fuck happened to Resident Evil? They're like about to pop off with DLC. Nothing ever happened. Those motherfuckers. Or the VR. Deeper inside the hair. Her color so radiant, so healthy, so. Maybe COVID delays, yeah. Rock. Hope we see something soon of the summer thing. Dead core. Summer game fest. You won't just see it. You'll feel it. It's the new nice and easy from Clairol. Stop that, sweetie. Yeah. Upstairs, the management guru is talking about vision and thinking outside the box. Except you're the shipping manager. It's your job to think about the box. So you turn to UPS. Because now only UPS, UPS guarantees the day of delivery for every ground package you ship to any business address coast to coast. Suddenly, options open, paradigm shift, and it's time for a seminar of your own. Introducing Guaranteed Ground, only from UPS. That was a weird commercial. Yeah, well, I'd never really seen the inside of a UPS. It's like a, it's just like the cartoons made it look. Day of delivery for know, just giant conveyor belts. Shit's just flying down. <laughs> Absorbers. They lose everything. They're better than USPS. I can't tell you how many times we do giveaways, mail it, and I get shit coming back. Everybody goes, I never got it. And I'm oh. like, well, USPS. They fucking always... Uh, USPS is the one. UPS, usually they're they're good, dude. Yo, Papo took a break with Chat's mom just to pop in and say, Twitch Prime is a free sub every month. Every month? Every month. Don't let Bezos get your money, Chat. Give it to us. Yeah. Thanks, Pop. More like USBS. Yeah. FedEx is the worst. I don't know. I've never had know. an issue with USPS, and they always seem to deliver stuff early. Every time I get a package from FedEx, it's always delivered late. Or they go, yeah, we knocked on your door and you weren't there. I'm like, oh, really, uh, fucker? Because I was sitting right next to my door, uh, and nobody knocked on it. I do hate that when they're like, we require a signature. Some guy, like last time, they were about to do that shit to me, and the guy's like, there's no dogs in here, right? I'm like, dude, do you see a dog? Your do little you chihuahua? see the gate right there? Yeah, and my chihuahuas are in the window. <laughs> the guy goes, oh, I, oh, I, he was like about to walk away from the gate. He didn't even want to come knock on my door. It's like, dude, fuck. fuck you, man. He got a he had a run in with a Chihuahua. Never. You need to open your gate for me, mm -hmm. really, because you UPS and and Amazon delivery and fucking USPS don't have a problem opening a gate, but FedEx for some reason. So, oh, man's working. He's just afraid of dogs. Uh, Ice Pube, thank you, dude. Love the name. And Alex Green, just pocket. Thank you. On today's rough, your mailman gives you back rubs every time you get mail. That's that's service. That's service. Sir. You might not. You might might be missing mail, but at least the guy's working your your corns on your feet, and mm. giving you back rub. That's pretty cool. Roads. If you ever need to stop quickly, consider replacing your worn shock absorbers. It can be like getting an extra ten feet of road God when damn, you need those shock most. absorbers. Replace your worn shock. Dude, he could have got Numa some Rose free melons. <laughs> now with safe tech. Um, <laughs> I'd say that's, you know, I'd rather have the melons. Like Warren Shocks, Sense Attract. Dead with a melon where his head road. used to be? Tests show you can stop an average of 10 feet sooner. Monroe Sense Attract, making the road a safer place. There's a Gallagher the joke somewhere in there. Near near you. You. <laughs> Call 1-888-SAFER-RIDE. 
Monday, it's the Susan finale with a glow-in-the-dark wedding. I want something that screams. Suddenly, Susan? I with fucking hate Kathy. Kathy Griffin. Stone I Mommy fucking here. hate her. Is it too late to elope? Like, of all the celebrities, well, the only the person I really, really hate is her. Susan and Jack. And it's the Caroline yeah. season finale with a big Richard and Julia breakup. No bull. Oh, okay, God. These, like, bull. direct, these, like, TV Our shows from way Susan. back when. Susan and Caroline, Monday on NBC. What the fuck? Ugh. God, it's gross daytime TV shows from the past. Ugh. With the laugh tracks? Yes. You hated her on Seinfeld. Sorry, it just broke. She My annoying. head just broke thinking about Kathy Lee, dude. It's, well, I agree. This she's family. got something about her. It's a little off-putting too. Kathy Griffin, I think, is her name. I just, I just don't even want to think about it. Kathy Griffin. She's still around doing her thing, right? Oh yeah, she did some stuff. She got canceled. <laughs> oh, the first thing that comes up is Kathy Griffin Trump. Yeah. I always thought she looked very similar. I just always thought she was Andy never Dick. funny. She was not funny. And she like pretended like she was funny, but she wasn't funny. I always thought she was very similar to Andy Dick. Do you see what I'm saying? They might be the same person. I even as a child I was like, they're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> as a kid, I was like, hundred percent can't fool me. I may be five years old, but they're the same person. <laughs> can't fool me. These are a nightmare. <laughs> You need fast relief. You need the power of Zyrtec. Prescription Zyrtec starts working fast and lasts 24 hours. So when allergies are a nightmare, remember the power of Zyrtec. Zyrtec. In studies, drowsiness was the most common side effect. Other side effects included fatigue and dry mouth. Most were mild or moderate. To learn more, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Zine. Senator Jay Bulwer thought he was ending it all. I'm not dead by Monday morning. I'm gonna stop. Fucking movie is this? <laughs> this looks is terrible. the most intelligent comedy of the decade. Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Bulwer. Savagely funny. Senator took your cop. Bulworth? I'm incredibly frightened. I can't show too much of it at the DMCA, you know what I mean? But what is it? Bulworth? I... It's a good movie? I, the beginning of it looked weird as fuck. I don't know who that guy is. Rated R. Bullworth. New York and Los Angeles tomorrow. May Halle Berry. Eh, the DMCA. Mm. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker. Oh, I got some Betty Crocker at home waiting oh, for later. Fuck. Chocolate? No, I got the, the cookie mix. Oh. Peanut butter cookies. Cake. But I'd need the mix. Betty it's Poggers. The, the frosting? It's Oof. in the box. The pan? It's in the box. Oh. To Betty Crocker's easiest mixes. New stir and bake. Just add water. That oh, bitch yeah. Betty Crocker's made... So... God damn it, dude. She brings, oh, up, yeah. brings on those treats. It's... She's made many, many American chubby. That Betty Crocker, I tell you. New stir you ever bake. just eat just... Funfetti straight out of the... Tub, just Betty the icing. You just, you just go to the store, you get icing, mm. no cake mix, and they're looking at you like, I know what you're doing. Jesus, just toilet paper and cake mix. You're just giving up, aren't you? Gave up a long time ago. <laughs> so you can see everything. <laughs> it has lots of places to hide your treasures. Whoa, this car's got compartments it's everywhere. It's cozy, with space for all your favorite things and your favorite people. It makes you feel like you're part of a club. Dog Dude, the Caravan. double... It's the like double doors house. on the van. I love, man. You hop in an Uber and they got these chairs in the yep. back. Claps. Captain's chairs, dude. I don't care if you pull up in like a fucking Lexus or a fucking Rolls Royce. If you're a minivan Uber driver and you got these bitches, I'd rather take this. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I get to like recline and I don't have to sit next to the guy. We can just chill back here. Favorite things and your favorite people. You get all the it homies back there. Like you're part of a club. Dodge Caravan. Hey, that's when you know you're really getting older. Oh man, I could use. It. I'd like to drive a minivan. Comfort. I wish they had. Well, I, that's why I like SUVs. They're kind of like a minivan, but they're like higher up and not like, like gonna die if you get in a car accident. <laughs> yeah. A treehouse for grown -ups. Time to buy a minivan. Now, select Dodge and competitive owners get up to two thousand dollars cash back on Dodge Caravan. It's Rosie on ice. Rosie on ice. Welcome to the final night of Seinfeld. Remember when she would just shoot kush balls at everybody? Those big balls with all the dingle dangles all over? Like a ping pong show? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> she would get the stretchy balls with the little strings on them, and she would shoot them into the audience. 
And then she would sing with Elmo. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't know that. You she don't did remember that. this? I didn't know that she did a ping pong show on Sesame Street. <laughs> Yo, we're looking at episodes uh, of the... This is the final Seinfeld event. This is the commercials oh, wow. we're watching. This is monumental here. I still remember the, the final, final episode. episode. Begin in just 45 minutes. Oh, there was a countdown. 45 minutes, It starts folks. at 8.45. What a weird time to start a show. Prime time. <laughs> the Chronicle. This is DMCA for sure, dude. Oh. Is it just gonna start showing the show? Larry David. Have you seen the Elf? The Elf does its magic with advanced photo system phone. Presto. Dude, remember when you used to have to put proprietary batteries into your fucking camera? Yeah, they still say you should do that. They fuck them up, but I. Just get the one on Amazon. It's got the best reviews, the biggest battery. No, pack. like back in the day, you had to get like specific battery types for some certain cameras. Oh, because, yeah, they want you to use the Canon. Or oh, whatever. so ridiculous. Yeah. Only one retriever. Bitch ass Canons. Where can hunt for houses. The new personal retriever from Coldwell Banker Online searches daily oh. for homes matching your profile and brings them to your email. Tell it what you want, it'll go fetch. Coldwell Banker, making real estate real easy. Mm-hmm. Best in the business. Dave Thomas at home cooking. I love Dave Thomas. Yo, you know Dave Thomas's house gets fucking wild. Wendy's introduces the most delicious combination ever put in a chicken sandwich. Our new honey ham and chicken. Hey, Jerry, when you finish the show. Yo, Davey lost all that weight. Look at him. Skinny wait, this Dave is Thomas. a Seinfeld specific commercial. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Chicken. Hey, Jerry, when you finish the show. Come on over. I made two. Be- Whoa, he like shouted out you Seinfeld. He shouted out Jerry Seinfeld. Come on by and have a sandwich after you're done premiering your TV show finale. That was fucking sick. Yeah, you're, you're doing your final premiere of the biggest TV show of all time. Where would you want to have dinner? Dave Thomas's fucking house. Dude, think of how much the slot must have cost on the last episode of Seinfeld. I, it's probably up there with like Super Bowl. Yeah, you dude. know what I mean? This is the most delicious combination ever put in a chicken sandwich. Spicy Dijon? Are you honey, ham, and chicken? Honey, ham, chicken. Mm-hmm. That sounds fucking good, man. The dog from Frazier. Saturday at 3 Eastern, Lakers Jazz. Sunday Lakers Eastern, Jazz. Lakers Bulls. The NBA Bulls. playoffs this weekend on NBC. Gene Shalit, the Today Show calls Quest for... Gene Shalit gave it a good review. Gene Shalit? HB, Gene Shalit. <laughs> I got I to gotta pull up a picture. I always thought Gene Shalit was Gene Mario. Shallot. Gene Shalit. <laughs> I thought he was Super Mario. He's just got one of the... The, the drip on Gene Shalit. Insane. Oh, yay. <laughs> I remember we used to play this painting game online called like Play-Doh Graffiti. Yeah. I remember one time you painted a portrait of Gene Shalit, and I just <laughs> fucking laughed so hard. He is the final form of Wario IRL, I guess. God damn, it's man. It's me, Wario. <laughs> totally Wario. He's wearing a G on his hat for Gene. No. Holy shit, he's literally Mario. He's, he's actually Mario. Gene Shalit. It's just dripped out. So he was a he was a movie critic, yeah. That was his whole thing. This guy, man, my God, film critic Gene Shalit, straight pimp. Fuck, they should have man. If he was still around, kicking should have been uh, Doctor Eggman here, Doctor Robotnik, hundred percent Doctor Robotnik. Oh, man. what does that say? Retired film critic gets thumbs down from Massachusetts police. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Oh, no, Gene. Oh, no, no. Gene. No, no. Gene, what are you doing? Wait, that's not really him. Oh, that's not him. That's a faker. I don't know what he did. I think this is a police photo of Gene Shalit in the act. I don't know what he did, but (laughs) I mean, he he couldn't trust this face. He can't trust a face like this. Who can't trust a face like this? Who can you trust? (laughs) I don't know what the fuck happened. Pops, do you have a question for Xandar? What the fuck is going on? Gene Shallot. They're going down the Gene Shallot rabbit hole. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. He likes this movie. Camelot, exciting. <laughs> Kids, it's me, Gene Shirley. And enchanting. Woo! Happily. Yo, I actually remember this movie. It was pretty dumb. Thank you very much. Not at all. I remember the little axe head thing. Hear you. Nothing else. Their problem? Careful going down the Gene Rabbit hole. There's some stuff in there. We stopped before it was too late. That's right up there. Oh, it's that guy. He talks like this. Peter. 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 Hey, Joe. Peter. Patrick Warburton. Lois. Peter. Slippery, sharp curves. Never know what's going to pop up in front of you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, boy, Barlow. Go ahead. Him. Yeah. He's got Stabila Track. The all new Seville STS with Stabila Track. Woo! Most advanced integrated stability control. Almost died. Just Yo, boy, he just let act. that guy go you into there. I'm sorry, I was lost in the moment. Sorry, he's a way better driver. The all new Seville STS. Carlos, thank you very next. much. Cadillac. New son. Uh -oh. oh, fuck. He's about to whip his. Okay, hold on. I don't know if we could show this. Hold on. I don't know if we could show this. Hold on. Well, now he's on a list. No nude. Too late. We whipped it out. You got a rocket now. Too late. And he's out there with no. He, he's got. And he's drinking beer on the beach. That's illegal. Got to grab like a, a hermit crab shell and stick his dick in it real Ugh. quick. Or chug that and put his dick in there. Water must be cold. Got him. He got that shrimp dick. Shrinkage, Jerry. He got that hermit crab dick. Wow, must be freezing. Look at his balls. Shrinkage, Jerry. Do a shrinkage. There must be cold. They're, God, they're just staring at your dick, saying it's small and cold. She's still looking at it, though. Still looking. I'm just saying. She's still looking at it. And then he fucking walks over, grabs a beer for them, and uses his dick to break the fucking cap off, huh? Didn't your machine do what you ask? Are we having a communication problem here? What? Please? Open email? Can you access the network already? I don't know. Anybody working in IT is what you deal with, right? I'm asking. People shouting at the fax machine to get it to work again? Already? I don't know. I'm asking. The best is when people already? try to fix their problem and make it worse. Mm. That's in London. Why put up with dumb machines when you can have smart ones? Image anywhere. From I thought China. I was going to say dumb uh, people. The new paradigm for the digital Dumb machines, workplace. dumb people. Bond. Fuck. Just talking about James Bond drinking Heineken. James Bond. There he is, dude. Grab a friend. Sorry, I can't. Isn't show he supposed this. to have a martini on the rocks? Like, why is he drinking Heineken? The hell? Tonight. Tomorrow never dies. Shaken, not stirred, or whatever. Isn't that the famous line? To those who've yeah. been there faithfully, every Thursday night, year after year, should the pain of separation be more than you can bear? There's always Advil. Here's to the crazy ones. Albert the Einstein. Rebels. Bob Cowboys. Dylan. Martin Luther King. John the Lennon. Who see things differently. That lady. <laughs> that lady. <laughs> Muhammad <laughs> Ali. That's wait for one. Alfred like, Hitchcock. We don't know Gandhi. Mahatma. Jim Henson. I don't know. The people who are crazy. Enough. I don't know who that is either. Uh, is that Dolly? That's Bruce Willis. But who's, I, uh, who's that? They think they can change the world. Jerry. Are the ones who do. Picasso. Ah, oh, Picasso. <laughs> Indifferent. Pablo Picasso. Okay. Pablo Picasso. Wait, he was alive recently? No, I'm just kidding. Pablo Picasso. I always thought Picasso was like a Renaissance painter. And then, like, maybe like a year ago, I was like, oh, he was alive in the 60s. I was like, oh. Yeah, he's chilling. My bad. Uh, 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 uh. Picasso. I'm Picasso. I know Picasso looked like Bruce Willis. Y'all ever gonna do movie commentaries on movies again? We do them all the time. Actually, uh, we're releasing freebies on the Djibouti Show channel all the time as well. Doing a few of those. Pop's always rolling those out. But we do one a week over on the Patreon. Copyright's a bitch, boys, but uh, the Patreon, that's where we keep it rocking. 
I got some more commercials here. Harry Potter one was sick. Yeah, we're going to keep uh, the freebies going up, too, on the Djibouti Show YouTube channel. Harry Potter, we did all the films. It was amazing. Can I help you? Yeah, of course, like, please. Damn, stop the whole bar on that one. You go to a freaking craft beer place? <clears throat> Can I have a Coors Light? <clears throat> More Star Wars, Pop says. Uh, we're going to put Star Wars up on the YouTube channel for free. There you go. George. In the Colorado Rocky Mountain High. I've seen it rain and fire in the sky. Shadow from starlight, soft and a lullaby. Rocky Mountain High. Rocky Mountain High. Colorado. I thought y'all were hating on it. <laughs> What, so it's like no one wants to order it, but once one person does, then we're all allowed to enjoy it as much as we that know we want to. gave me goosebumps, dude. You ever go to a bar and just wish everybody would sing your song that you started singing? <laughs> Colorado! Delicious. What up, dude, for the tier two? Thank you, man. Colorado! 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> Apollo 13. Jesus. A story so powerful it inspired a nation. A movie. A, a movie. Combo. A burger. Oh. Roy Rogers Burgers. A Roy Rogers 299. So someone went to went to space, built a rocket like this. There deserves to be a burger named after this. This is a bacon burger. No, it's the Apollo 13 burger. Show some goddamn respect. What? Apollo combo. It's a, a bacon burger with some pogs. It's a, it's That's a, all it is. It's a combo to celebrate what a nation was able to do. Pound bacon cheeseburger, extra large holster of and it's only two ninety nine. Whoa, okay, yeah, Go yeah, they're yourself. breaking the mold. Fries and a thirty two ounce drink in an official Apollo Comes thirteen with pogs. cup, and there's more. Official pog milk caps and slammers, <gasps> just ninety nine. Slammers, cents. Roy's two ninety nine bacon cheeseburger Apollo combo, Woo! landing right now only at Roy Rogers. Yo, they got it slammers. Dominated the field. And now Toyota's newest 4x4, Tacoma, has arrived. Fuck Only yeah, dude. stronger. Tacoma's impressively Still powerful rolling around new today. 190 horsepower V6 outguns the leading competitor's best. It's tougher out here where toughness yeah, counts. Yeah, I like when they show and the car doing shit, players, man. Tacoma runs free. Look at that Toyota thing. It's climbing Tacoma. mountains. The arrival that fought. truck is still on the road today. Yeah. Is this the one we got driven around in? Grandma and Grandpa, right? Yep, yep, yep. This shit, dude. The... The back seats on this bitch didn't even his kids' Dude, knees so are just small. getting squished. Oh my god! But fuck, god damn it! What a truck! I don't know man. how we fit back there. That even truck, kids. Dude. Yeah, we they'd fit five of us grandchildren in the back seat of the Tacoma. Five, like four or five of us at a time. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck we did it, dude. Uh, the fog burner. Think of the five gifted, my man. Appreciate you. Not safely, no. Yeah, there was like five kids back there for sure. One yeah. went in the middle, and then two were in the seats. Yep, remember the seats kind of they swiveled a little. And we slightly. had to like cross our seatbelts together and like tie them. <laughs> <laughs> Just cross up your seatbelts; it's fine. You'll be safe. And then we go to the pizza place and grab and get a couple beers. <laughs> <laughs> it's driving around a mountain. What do you want? <laughs> I love my grandpa. Good afternoon, sir. Is, Is there, there anything, anything I can show you? today just looking thank you oh, of course sir excellent <laughs> choice sir <laughs> this guy's drift out man confidentially a very, very big, big hollywood star but this very piece please morning. stop touching but me. it's just as effective on you sir although perhaps just a smidgen long in the sleeves dimitri good afternoon sir you're right for the bussy Nine X. More information, more solutions, what more the stuff. Fuck, why would you want two people saying the same thing to you at the same time? Mm. How to speak Australian. Oh, here we go, boys. How to speak Australian. These yeah. were some of my speak favorite Aussie. commercials. How to speak Aussie, boys. 
It's got boomerang. Remote control. Beer. Fosters. That was a low tier Fosters commercial. I'm going to be real. I've seen better ones. Remote control. The beer. My app. Fuck. KJ, thank you, dude. Megan, thank you, dude. Do it! What the fuck was that? What tornado? does a tornado have to do with Nike? There's tornadoes? Beer. Foster's Australian for... Three Ks? What? It's... <clears throat> in baseball, Ks are strikes. That's, a, that's what it is. I get what everybody's saying, but... In baseball, K's are strikes or outs or something. I forget. Guys, calm down, okay? I don't know. I'm pretty know. sure it's for the Ku Klux Klan, Louie. Just do it. Do what? Uh, just do it. Just join. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Nike. There's more K's. It's still going. Okay, it wasn't just three. It's still They're going. They're strike outs. Got it. Got it. Got it. Just do it. On Friday, July 28th, On Friday. Universal Pictures invites you to a world like none. <gasps> Is this? It's Waterworld, baby! Is this baby. Waterworld? Oh, yes! Shit. Look oh out, it's my the smokers! God. We gotta watch it. We saw the show at uh, Universal Studios Hollywood not too long ago. It's fucking hilarious. Water I've never world. seen it. I want to get the game for Super Nintendo just because <laughs> the music, too. The music's good. World, rated PG Water World. Kevin Costner. Dennis Hopper. Starts July 28th. Janine Triplehorn. I just know he drinks his own piss. He has like a machine where he pees in it, and it turns in the water, and he drinks it. Mm. And that's how he keeps his water supply. He's like, oh, he's like flexing how it filters the water. How clean his pee is? Yeah, because he's on the the whole world is an ocean, so it's all salt water. Right. Filter so pee pee. You got to drink your pee. I saw Bill Gates do the same thing, like shit in a cup, and they drank it. And he's like, <sighs> yeah, I got to. Well, he put it through a filter. He's shitting it, though? Yeah, he was like showing off. He's like trying to cure water shortages, and so he's like shitting in a What does filter. that taste like? He's, he's like, I'll drink that shit every day. His filter system's good. Wow. Like all Americans. Just doing Bill Gates things. I like big things. Big prairies. Big <laughs> buffaloes. Bill Gates one cup challenge. Big forests and mountains. One billionaire, one cup. Big wheat fields. And everything else. God. Teddy Roosevelt. A Chevy Tahoe. Wait, you have to call them to get one? Like Sir, you gotta sing the black like rock. Oh, like a rock. Oh, like a rock. You gotta do that part. I think that's for like the Silverado. I know, but it's in the title there. Like living at the typical mid priced business hotel. It's okay if you're big on self denial. Because you deserve better, ITT Sheridan introduces Four Points Hotels. For cars that. All right. That can benefit from higher octane. Frank, we're late. <gasps> oh. No. Oh, a weenie dog. I love weenie dogs. My Instagram explore page is all black and tan weenie dogs. So trying Justin, to tell me something. Justin. I'm good with Dee, but it's just they keep showing me Do black you think and tan weenie dogs. Dee Dee could handle sharing attention with another dog. No. She could not. Dude. I want one so bad. Dee Dee wants all the attention. All the time. Oh, black and tan wiener dog, dude. I love wiener dogs, man. They're so fucking they are cute, dude. Oi, yay, yay, dude. Anybody got a black and tan weenie? I'm jealous, man. God, they're so fucking cute. Oh, my God. I oh, got a black geez. and tan weenie, but it's it's not a dog. It's in your pants? That's right. Oi, yay, yay. They're so cute. Oi. Doug's like winking. <laughs> Woo. 
Texaco. I got a weenie for you. A clean system three power plus and power premium or formula. To only problem is they bark too much. It's the only problem. Mm. I don't even know if I could train it to be so socially aware that it wouldn't. It's just Didi's bred to bark. really good Stop. about not barking. Didi, right now she's just sleeping. Oh in front man, of that I, I was wondering where she was. She's just sleeping, taking she's a nap. Just like, oh, they got the air on. I'm just gonna be quiet and just sleep all day. I need to just consider myself lucky. KJ Potato and uh, Chaz. Yo, Chaz, man. Thank you. Please. Weenie Dog's good. Loyal, lovable, but goddamn, not they're loud. Yeah. Damn, not loud. Your engines intake valves, fuel injectors, and Ooh. combustion chambers while you're driving. For smooth starts and sure acceleration, <laughs> just give us five tanks, and we think you'll see a difference. A word of advice, yeah. though. Maybe you'd better leave the windows rolled up. I didn't know Texaco had a jingle. Yeah, me either. Well, I've never been to a Texaco, have you? Take it to the star. No, I can't say I have, actually. I don't have them in Southern California. Gramercy Press in cyberspace. We can set up our own bookstore on the internet. Click the book they want right on the screen. Dude, this guy's laptop is sick, man. They're reading the baby. We can go to the schools. Textbooks direct to the children's little hands. Cool. Cool, man. Market Whatever. MCI, your new business address in cyberspace. Online. Interactive, secure, at your fingertips. Get yourself a web page. Your office today. Call, Call today. Get a web page. They live for the pleasure. Oh, the dude! Passion. Interview the vampire. Oh. Love this movie. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Now they will live. It's great. Oh, TMCA. Wait, is that interview uh, the vampire? Hold on, I don't think it is. Super familiar. For oh, I forgot. Forever. I might be wrong. Is it the I true? I think it is. is yeah, it is. Is that the true okay. romance guy? Yeah. Great movie. Interview with a vampire. Wasn't gay enough? I agree. It should have been way gayer. Well, there's always room for that. Well, I mean, literally, they're they're gay in the books, I think. Mm. How close are you to all the sports you'd ever want to see with Prime Star? Closer than you think. Look at son, I can control the satellite. Holy fuck! Prime Star has all the action you're looking for, plus lots of other great programming, all with digital picture and sound. And since Prime Digital Star is a picture service, and there's no equipment to buy. And it all starts at about a dollar Prime day. Star. So if you love sports, call 1-800- 1-800-TWITCH-PRIME. Prime Star. Prime Star. The satellite down to Earth. Nothing. What the fuck is that? Tougher on dirt. Boxing. This shit. When I think of like laundry detergent, I don't want it to be rough and rugged. I want it to be smooth and soft. Rugged like a stallion. Like this a is car. bad advertising. That a 191 horsepower Chevy. It's S actually a car commercial. It's not laundry it's detergent a, at all. It's Extended actually <laughs> oil. Four by four. <laughs> Chevy trucks like a rock. Oh, Why do they have laundry it. detergent then? Oh well. There's I'm a confused. Little, there's a little fake out. Time marches on, and if you haven't planned for your retirement, you're losing ground. Oh no! If you're like most Americans, oh fuck my retirement! You ah! enough, long enough to retire on solid ground. That's why there's Sun America. Ask your financial advisor about Sun America today, because the only thing that goes faster than money is time. Look to the sun. Sun, sun America. America. Look at the sun. Stare at it. Prepare for your retirement or die in the desert. <laughs> Sand in my shoes. I know. Run around that shit. Filming that commercial must have been a nightmare. A U.S. satellite. God damn it. This voice with those logos, I'm already in. Or missing. Nuclear like somebody satellite. Just took Global disaster. Red Foreman. This I'm trained for. Oh, That's yes. why. That's why. Oh, yes. So, what is oh, this, this is number two. This is Siege 2. We got to see that. We really wanted to do the first one. We were about to, but it's not on any streaming platforms. It's on uh, It's on um, his own proprietary streaming platform. Oh, God. He has his own. Yeah. We might do it anyways because I think we have the DVD, but it just makes it hard for people to find it to stick around with the commentary track. It's on Seagull. Put Locker, my guy. <laughs> yeah. July 14th. Sir, what's room service like at your mid-priced business hotel? They let you call out for pizza. 
because you deserve room service. ITT Sheridan introduces Four Points Hotels. If we could see what one could Dude, who came on that piece of pizza, though? Did you see that? Yeah, this pizza was nasty. It was, just looked like someone went, Cafeteria guy spit on my pizza. Imagine for a moment how far we'd reach. A moment of truth, of inspiration. The time has come. Wait, that kid have a fishbowl on his desk? Yeah, I think so. What the fuck? Bring a show and tell. He's showing off his fish. He brings a fish to show and tell. That like fish a, is going to be dead by the end of the day. Pretty sure it's dead to that here. It's not moving. The time has come. Yo, look at this, dude. Palm pilots were so weird. A palm pilot. I remember my dad got one, and I did, like, animation on it. I remember it had, like, brick out. Yeah, it had games and shit. Yeah, yeah. I was amazed you could draw on the screen. So, like, the, they had a drawing, like, note app, and you could just tap and hold the next page so i just realized oh i can make a little animation made like stick people fighting dad go in on that i think thing. i remember that yeah Here and now, whoa it made a baby and your dad's like where's all my notes at it's just a bunch of stick people <laughs> stick fighting people fighting i lost all my contacts <laughs> it's all within your reach now is a great time to be alive Today, there's so much to reach for. You guys, remember and Yahoo right Chess? What? That was some good shit back in the day. A little solitaire. One company. Remember the fucking onboard Windows pinball game? Yeah, Space Cadet. Space Cadet. Cadet. Mm -hmm. Yo, mm -hmm. do I still have that shit? Nope. You can download it, I think. Why is it not on here? I think if you can, you can get it out of the Microsoft store. I'm not 100% sure. Just paint. Has the technology. <laughs> like, why is it going to include it? Service. The that game clap. Experience. It's in the Microsoft store? Oh. AT&T. Creating vital bridges that help you put it all within your reach. It's all within your reach. That's your true choice. AT&T. True choice. Let me guess. One side of you craves easy chair comfort. Yes. While the other side itches for performance, right? Volume. Well, meet Buick Regal with its oh, famous Buick 38 Regal? V6 engine and Grand Touring. I'm suspension. not a fan of Buicks. Add to that an all new. Love the cool version of him's all leather. My Damn ex it, had a Phil? Buick LeSabre and it sucked ass. Ugh. I hated that car. Sensitive seats. And finally, there's a car for the two of you. Buick Regal. Mmm, Buick. Oh, well, I'm the kind of light. Da -da DMCA, then I got a car. Da -da -da. I I'm the DMCA guy. <laughs> I'm the DMCA guy. I'll take your money, 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 money. money, money. <laughs> gonna take your channel down. Gonna strike it all around. I want your money now. Striking your videos. That is a kind of cool invention, though. It's like a... Snake wheat? It's like a snake with a bendy tripod. It goes anywhere. Anywhere you do. Sick. And it's Black & Decker? Ooh. Snake light. That means it's quality, boys. Yeah. Imagine a satellite system that received transmissions from 22,000 miles guys. in space. Imagine if it turned digital signals into vivid pictures and CD quality sound. What would it look like? How big would it be? Everybody oh, was selling that. dish this time of the, the 90s. was like dish was everywhere. You have a dish on your house. Right? I remember my grandpa was the first person I knew who had dish. And they had Disney Channel. Woo! And it wasn't just the free preview that you get in the fall. It was mm -hmm. like the full thing. The real deal. That shit popped off. Mm-hmm. 18 inches. The RCA Digital Satellite System. Customized programming and the power of digital technology. Now in a convenient take-home size. Get the DSS system with no payments or interest till January 96. See your RCA dealer. Got out to pay for a few years. The customized there. 1947 Harley Davidson, about $15,000. The Big Twin Shaver, about 35 cents. What do they have in common? They're both worth it. I feel every like we never penny. do. S Wait, I was going to say, I feel like we never see motorcycle commercials. Melissa Jean said, I sold my Buick Regal, and a few days later, I saw it on the side of the road on fire. Good time to sell. Good time to sell. Good call. Yeah. 
Yeah, went right that's to, their problem now. Should have went right to Vegas after Just that. Cl- hopefully, you didn't sell to a friend. <laughs> It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance in the rain, in the snow. It even saves gas. Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSC technology. It's some There's boss baby here. It's that goes beyond magic. Whoa. The classic Airstream. Around $5,000. The classic Bic. Around 19 cents. Best pens. Those airstreams are expensive now. What do they have in common? The hipsters They're wanted them. Expensive pens now? No, 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 no. Those airstream trailers. Oh, the pen. Penny. People spend a lot of money on those because they're like vintage. You know what I mean? Oh, and they like trick them out, make them like Instagram friendly. Yeah. They make the inside like have a nice couch and a little sink and stuff. Nineteen. What are both worth every penny? So a buddy of mine like gutted out a van kind of like that and put like a couch in a sink and made it all surfy, surfed out. Like, it's a big thing on, uh, what is it? Not Tumblr. What's the other one? TikTok. No, Tumblr. the one where you put up. Instagram. It's like uh, Etsy or. Etsy? Whatever. Selling stuff. What's the one where you like pin mark stuff? Pinterest. Pinterest. Yeah, that's where it is. DeVille has the airbag system helping protect all three front seat passengers. More people choose the Cadillac DeVille than any other luxury car in America. Count on Cadillac Smooth this summer. Sound. Current Cadillac owners can lease a new DeVille at its lowest lease rate of the year. Just $3.99 a month for 24 months and $19.50 down. Cadillac, creating a higher standard. Cadillac. See your Cadillac Tri-Statesman. Just bought a Cadillac. Tending your land. Putting Getting down that grass, back in the soil, slamming them trees, working with the sun on your back. Could anything be more rewarding? Yeah, paying someone else to do it for you. Oh, yeah, we're like going to sleep. Joe and Tom. That's what Visa Gold's for. With enough purchase power to turn your yard working green. hard, that's for other people. Relaxing, Get a nice credit card. That's right, brother. I'm Hang sleeping out. until one Visa o'clock in the afternoon. You want to be Polar Beach by Arctic Ocean. Music. Oh. Skip forward. This is they'll get us. This is Lars Ulrich. He's mad about this. Into round in a man. Gonna take my soul. Doodle and biddle. Wow, wow. Wow, Drinking all that beer now. Natty Ice is gross. Natty Ice. Do, 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 do. Grab a beer. Do, 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 do. Something about Polar Beach. Come on, it's a six Gonna DMCA you today. Is priced yeah, we're getting a lot of cars. Camry. Gets better mileage than Ultima. And has the best base. Another Ultima. Is a- I guess they're still mad about the strike, huh? Telling me. What do we do? There's only one thing to do. Take them off a of pizza. What? Are you next? What are we doing? How much that would cost? We gotta well, take the whole stadium to Pizza Hut? Take them to the Pizza Hut lunch buffet. So they're gonna run out you of pizza? You can get all the pizza pie. No, they got a salad bar. Ah. Uh, salad you can eat, but just 3 10,000 people at the salad bar. <laughs> What's 399 dollars <laughs> 50,000? 200,000 bucks. How much you got on you? About 100,000. I got two. I got a quarter mil. You got change? First it was OJ, then it was Hugh Thursday. Could it be Matlock? Matlock. Then Matlock caught an alien love triangle. A scandalous Matlock Thursday on ABC. Wow. Sir, how are the communication services? First, there was an actual murder where people died, but let's make fun of it on Matlock. Matlock. At your mid-priced business hotel. Sometimes you get through, sometimes you don't. Because you deserve better communications, ITT Sheridan introduces Four Points Hotel. The Sheridan? It's two of your favorite stars together for the... Two of my favorite stars. Do you know who they are? Tony Danza and that other lady. Together for the first time, Tony Danza's back on television with Danger. Lauren Lachlan in Hudson Street, coming this fall on ABC. ABC. So you're probably wondering how Oldsmobile ever came up with the car. Yeah, show it drifting and shit, dude. Yeah, dude. Down the L.A. River. First, we told all the bean counters to go to lunch. Then, we sent all the pencil pushers home. Pencil pushers. And finally, we had our engineers watch a lot of exciting movies. The result wasn't like anything we'd ever done. Or anyone else, either. It's your money. Damn. An Aurora. You ever hear anyone talk about life? 
Like you gotta chew it up and spit it out. Gatorade. You gotta want it so bad you can taste it. Gatorade. You gotta H2O. be hungry. Gatorade. H2O. If so, Gatorade has one question for you. You want something to drink with that? Because you're gonna be thirsty. Makes you thirsty just watch it, doesn't it? Yeah. Man, I'm feeling Life dry. Life is a sport. Drink it up. You always squirt it. Oh, oh, Go squirt oh. it so hard. Hit the back of your throat. Oh, fuck. Well, there's no other way to drink it. Herbal Essences Gatorade. I need it. I need it fast, too. I need it in my mouth. Oh. Drink it up. Oh. Samuel Faulkner has been thrown a curve. I'm pregnant. It's a full count. Nine months. We have PG. Nine months. 13. Starts tomorrow at theaters everywhere. I think I saw a little bit of, uh... Yup, the big one. The big one. That's a good movie. PG, bam, bam. now playing. Apollo 13. Now with Roy Rogers for a burger. This guided missile is brought to you by Ken Norton and his Reebok NFL Pro Line jacket. Damn, that jacket's sick. Dude, I used to have a Green Bay Packers one, and some kid at school stole it. Oh, what a Chad. What yeah. a smart steal. Who remind you that players are made in the preseason. Reebok. How to speak Australian. Oh, yeah, another lesson. Last speaking. Five boys! Careful of shakes! Or divs. Or divs. Should have fought him. I didn't know who took it, or else I would have. Yeah. <laughs> Should have fought him, Lewis. I would have beat him up. Only one way to settle that. Foster's Australian for beer. Beer. Australian for Let's see here. Let's see here. There's about one more before we get going here, boys. We've got some more commercials here. Is that Proto Man coming in here? Yeah, thank you, Proto Man. Headlamp is far better. Agreed. Appreciate you. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's get this one going, eh? Hold on, I have to use the restroom. Get it, Lou, get it. Grab me a uh, LaCroix while you're at it, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what this music is. Games, times to remember. U.S. hockey team wins gold. I know. I was in college, 1980 to 83. They're playing times to remember, the game where you choose different size time windows to guess what happened when. Oh, right, fuck. 1980. Times to remember. Disco, when did 80s it? trivia. 76. 77. Not that I was into it or anything. <laughs> times to remember. Miniskirts first gained popularity. 67, my math teacher. Oh, I'll never forget when miniskirts were in. The Temple of Flight, Shrine of the Enlightened Basketball Mind. Come experience Ball Mastery. Ball Mastery? The fake? It's good. You see that Urkel hair? Yeah, I saw the Urkel hair. You gotta master your balls but and master, just do it. What if we behave badly? You go to Detroit. Now Phillips Detroit. has captured some of the most educational and entertaining experiences imaginable on a new kind of compact disc called CD Interactive. With CD Interactive. With your TV, you can put Dude. your family in the center of the action. Capture the experience by calling for your free CD <laughs> Interactive in kit CD now. Kit. It's your introduction to this new world of TV entertainment. Call now and find out where to go in your area for a free no obligation awesome. demonstration. All right. It's like a video game you could play with, with the TV remote. Plus, you'll also get details on a special limited time offer, but you must act now. So experience CD Interactive <laughs> for yourself. Remember when Netflix was on a CD and you had to mail it? I remember that. I remember those days. All it takes is a call now to get big savings. Now they're doing like uh in like interactive. Netflix things like I was watching a, I was looking for something to watch and it was like a trivia cartoon and like you use the TV remote and it's interactive Netflix in yeah it. you can play like Minecraft story mode on Netflix it's incredibly easy though this shit sucks yeah Netflix is like games and shit now it's pretty much what they were getting at over back in these days and more find out how to make your TV come alive CD Interactive, the imagination machine. Another first from Philips. 
call 1-800-423-9998. It doesn't matter what comes, we're still better in life With Mentos Fresh and Full of Life Nothing gets to you, staying fresh, staying cool With Mentos Fresh and Full of Life Fresh goes better, Mentos Fresh and Fresh goes better, Mentos Fresh and Full of Life I got my money. I got my mentors. Holy shit. Fresh maker, dude. Hey, check me out. I got a Casio <laughs> keyboard now. It's thick. Mentos, the fresh maker. Fresh maker. Hi, I'm Gary Boyle, chairman of Columbia Sportswear. My son, Tim, our president. Tim Boyle. The interchange system. The liner zips in for maximum warmth. The Ain't outer go. shell is weatherproof. Get wrecked. Get blown. Chuck Norris is gone. What up, dude? I voted against that. The Columbia Interchange. My mom dresses me still. I had one of those jackets. It was awesome. <clears throat> it's going to say the colors on these? The Columbia. Yeah. Now that's like what's in doing all the color blocking. It's so they could see you if you get lost in the forest. It's for lost children. I don't want to get lost, mommy. The Put Columbia your jacket on. Interchange Yeah, Columbia lasts a long time. That and, like, North Face. You see a motherfucker buy North Face or one of those? They're wearing that shit for life. Life. It is dead. Welcome to the life. Ferguson's. They've got holiday problems. Some Ted here wants to marry his girlfriend, Becky, but he can't afford a ring. Darn. My little pumpkin's gonna run off with someone else. What's this? And here's Heather's room. She has expensive tastes. Alas, her boyfriends are still in high school. Billy, I want a Seiko tank, watch a color TV, and a Sony Discman. You can, too, afford it. Go to Service Merchandise. Then there's... Service Merchandise? She wants the Christmas Take that alone, Billy. Gramps and Nana just got back from a big rally. They've got lots of gifts to buy. Fast. Finally, Mr. and Mrs. Ferguson. Money's a bit tight this year. Squeeze every nickel till the buffalo... I fucking bills will fucking... Stop! Dollars. Ah, don't worry, dear. I've got something in mind. Will the, the Ferguson holiday dreams come true? Bison. Call for the service merchandise store nearest you. Cool. Cool now. Get some services cheap. The experience of buying a $60,000 car is, to say the least, different. You get to walk around a showroom without looking over your shoulder. Nobody makes you have a conversation. It's too dramatic. You gotta show that car driving, man. And you're given all the time you need to make your decision. It's a pretty nice way to shop for an automobile. And it feels even better when the car you're looking at costs around $13,000. A Saturn. A Saturn. It's they a, don't exist anymore. It's a different experience. Or do they? Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa, he's looking right at you, chat. Gravity. Gravity. Damn, he's getting naked. Gravity by Isaac Newton. Look, when he smells so good, he's got to get fucking naked. Within a fragrance, it's a force of nature. Gravity. Fuck. The irresistible new fragrance. Oh my god, Pearl's busted. You couldn't resist it, even if you tried. Jesus. Made her pearl necklace explode. Well, I mean, sometimes you explode a pearl necklace on her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Those pearl a necklaces uh, were no busted. thanks. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Very funny. Look, it's almost Thanksgiving, and we're turkeys, right? Relax. Nobody's going home for any big dinners this year. Oh yeah. Don't you yeah, miss how many puppets gra- and commercials? Yeah, they're so good. But unfortunately, this just reminds me of Thanksgiving, which is like a fucking awful movie. It's terrible. Is that the one where he fucks the turkey? Turkey fucks a lot. Turkey fucks you. You don't fuck that turkey. Oh. And he goes, you ever seen the the Grindhouse commercials? Mm-mm. So when Grindhouse came out with uh, Chainsaw, whatever, the shitty part, and then Death Proof, in between there was like trailers, fake trailers. Oh. And one of them, he fucking like murders the people. And then there's a part where he's like fucking the turkey on the table. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> 
Yeah, oh, and that thing's just... killing is it. just like a horribly dubbed puppet turkey. It's like, take this, bitch, and like kills people. It's great. What? People are going from Detroit to Chicago Good, for twenty-five dollars, or to Cleveland for just twenty-two bucks. You're kidding! I wish. Dude, Cleveland's Greyhound only twenty-two bucks. Want to go? Yeah. Fares all I heard Cleveland the rocks. From I a heard very that reliable too. source. And then chat's like, no, you don't want to go. No, I got don't it. Come here. That's the bald eagle. <laughs> I think I smell cranberry. It's only twenty-two bucks. Eat, make the milky seven swans of twenty-six geese are laying five roast beef sandwiches. Five roast beef sandwiches. God damn! Not that's a please. Deal. Don't say Arby's. Announcing Arby's. Oh, just meat and bun. The only thing they got good: folded beef, curly fries. Their curly fries pop the fuck off. Okay, mm. everything else fucking gross. Mm. How are they? Sandwich dry as fuck. There's no sauce in there, huh? Is that really all it is? Five for five deals. Get five delicious slow roasted regular oh. roast beef sandwiches for just five dollars. We'll even gift wrap them. Wasn't their whole thing? We got the meat. We got the meats. But hurry, yeah. Arby's holiday. Five for five bucks. That's a lot of beef. Five for five deal and soon. This Magnavox portable CD. This guy's amazing, isn't he? Who is he? This guy's like one of the best laughs ever. There with pure digital sound is the best thing to take on vacation. Unless oh, you compare that... it with this John clever Magnavox 5-inch TV. Great pictures of anywhere. Course, the best is this compact yet intelligent Magnavox camcorder. Monty with Python, auto yeah, that's where I know. Unless you take this Magnavox 3-inch LCD TV. I'm from the, the Rat Race movie as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Which connects to my camcorder so I can watch my vacation Big on the game. ride home. <laughs> Looks as though I had a pretty good time. The very well. From Begin. They're smart. Very smart. The race begins now. Louis, it's your favorite. I love Taco Bell. Old school Taco Bell hit different though. Dude, seventy nine cents for a Taco Supreme? And you see the size of it? That was the big beef. What is that? New big beef. Look how big that beef that is. Beef. way yeah. too big. Why would you want it? Do you know that thing's going to break by the time you get to the end of it? No way. Uh, a million dollars, you couldn't eat that without dropping a single crumb. No way. Taco Bell, Taco Crunchy and Delicious. Yeah, they taste so good. Who the fuck grabs the cheese on the top? Dude, now you're just fucked for the rest of the taco. You... All cheese? You just took a bite out of just nothing but the cheese sprinkles? What the fuck is wrong with you? And when they only took a bite of a new big beat. Oh, at a, the angle she's going at's interesting, too. <laughs> you walk up the neighborhood. <laughs> she made a run, a run for the You're board. under arrest for eating just the cheese on the top first. You Remember sick when the logo fuck. looked like that? I love that logo. Yeah, it's colorful like the food. And it's got kind of, you know, a, like a Mexican like font. Mm hmm. They say those colors, uh, Psychology makes you hungry. That's why McDonald's is like bright colors. Like, oh fuck, I want to yeah. eat the logo. It ain't no Mac tonight. Here's the, here comes the Mac though. I have a license for that. That guy. You remember him? That. Oh, guy. that's the guy from Chips. What's his I've fucking name? I've seen that name? guy. Taco. You need the rest of that taco. You gonna just keep eating the cheese for us? Can I eat your taco? Estrada. Yeah. Hey. Want to do a McDonald's commercial? No. It's a real big deal. Like double cheeseburgers? Oh, uh, fuck. How about two? Oh, for just shit. $2. But that's not all. Try two, two double cheeseburgers for just $3. Now get to a Southeast Michigan McDonald's fast, because this is a limited time offer. Michigan in the house. Two delicious double cheeseburgers, two bucks. Two juicy triple cheeseburgers, just $2. three bucks. You get a lot. For double a little the beef. At McDonald's. What you want is what you get two at McDonald's Two triple cheeseburgers today. for $3? Ever since New Vision's buy one, give one free offer, Bobby Jr. has received thousands of inquiries from girls who want his free pair of glasses. This is Roxanne with purple hair. At New Vision, when you buy one pair of glasses, you get a second pair free to keep for yourself or give to you someone you love. Oh, hey, Decrypt. See you guys in the Bobby, VOD. Got to bounce you. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you, Decrypt. Buy one, give one free. Only at New Vision. Oh, please give him a call. Whoa, what is that what? thing? Punctuation. 
Huh? What is it? Phone? Aqua. Oh, it's it's fragrance. It's uh, perfume. It looks fucking weird. Yeah. Oh. Exclamation. Perfume called exclamation. You know, Sly Cooper. Thank you for the brand new, dude. Appreciate you. It's new. It's celebrity taboo. She starts every conversation with, "Can we talk?" My analyst. No. His career has been one big break after another. One big break after another. Yeah, yeah. Get your teammates to guess famous celebrities without using the five best clues. No, 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 no. Doctor Ruth. So you're talking about her again. She's she really did. popular, she huh? She's fucking. I say. Play new celebrity taboo and original taboo. He would date women his own age if, if he could find any. If, if he could find. Yes, George Burns. Yes, I love it. I love it. Those were like the worst clues. George For Burns. anything ever. Let your guard down. What is this? Uh, I hear Celine Dion. Someone's getting slapped. Bodyguard. This is a good movie. Love you. Okay. What's an Arbor brand? Hell yeah. Well, sort of. But it's also this. Hell yeah, brother. This. Mouthwash. This. In fact, the Arbor brand is on over 1,200 quality products that work just as well as the national brand. We do a little bit of everything around less. here. So consider your brand, then consider Stop ours. We think you'll make the switch to Arbor brand products. Switch to the saving money is safe smart. brand. Arbor, come see Arbor. the difference. A Ooh, duster. This. She sees my V6. Oh, buy me, please buy oh, me. Oh, the car is a personality. Ooh, my spoiler, my low profile tires, sports suspension. Those people that are sexually attracted to cars, this is probably it right I here. I was just going to bring that up, but I was like, no, that's not appropriate. I mean, we've all seen that clip of the guy that, like, fucks his car. Yeah, but have you ever seen the clip where the guy who fucks somebody else's car, like, in public and then gets caught? Oh, no. Yeah. You gotta Real show me that after I'll the stream. I'll show it to you after the stream. Really fucking weird. He like, the car is like parked at like a hotel, like valet thing. And he comes up to him, he's like touching it. What kind of car And then he that? lays down behind it and starts fucking the tailpipe. No <laughs> joke. And I think his wiener gets stuck in there. And his dick's like, all covered in soot and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird, dude. <clears throat> she wants me. Uh-oh. She thinks I'm too expensive. I can fix that. If a guy came up to you as you're like on your way back in your car, you're just like at Target or something grabbing stuff, he's like, hey, man, I know this is going to sound weird. Could I like fuck your car? I'd be like, yeah, 200 bucks. 200? It's a, like, what's it going to do to me if he nuts in my tailpipe in my car? <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> 200 bucks, you'd let a guy fuck your car? Because I could never look at my car the same again. Yeah. But. Two hundred dollars is two hundred dollars. Chat, chat, how much? You can wash that shit right off. How much? Let someone fuck your car right now. You're on your way back in your car from like Walmart and picking up some groceries or some shit. You're at Target and you're, you're just like, hey man, I know, I know it's weird. I got some bucks. Like, what do you say? How much? I really, I really like your car, man. I have to have him sign a waiver too. Like, if he hurts his finger <laughs> on the car or something, you got to get paperwork. He's like, no, 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 it's got to happen right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Thousand? How long is it gonna take? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. How long? And let's say he also wants you to like rev the engine while you're going, while he's going, you know? Oh, dude, he's going to get freaking, what's it called? Poisoning. <laughs> carbon monoxide. <laughs> fucking like you got carbon already. monoxide shoots up his dick and he dies. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You're revving it too much. Perfect. Will the car be running? Yeah, I would assume he'd want you to turn on just a little bit. So I would. <laughs> Uh, money up front. <laughs> a lot to love for under ten. You don't want to get to fuck your car and run off. That sucks. <laughs> gonna chase him. Money up front. Sure. Cane tone. What up? That's Thank what he do. wants, though. He wants you to chase him in the car, right? Yeah. He He's wants. Like, I want the chase. He likes the chase. I'm so happy. My boyfriend will love it. I'm so unhappy. Rejection. That car wanted to fuck her. Poor car. That's weird that we talked about sexualizing a car and then he sexualized the lady. That's why I brought it up. I didn't bring it up for no reason. Very strange. Lady's fucking that car. Phobia. You know, fear of being outside. I've been in that here since the Carter cut. administration. But now, I'm going out there for the incredible Bed Bath & Beyond grand opening. It's like 11 stores. This lady scares me. I don't know what it is. There's something about her. Very scary lady.
One. Linens, housewares, glassware, storage things, tons of name brands. Martex, Mikasa, Krupp, Flora, Ashley, all at incredible prices. You think it's prices. her shirt is so big that she kind of looks like a ghost? I was going to say, she looks like a ghost. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It looks like a ghost. I think that's what it is. Every day. And it's never good when they do these commercials. It's like, okay, we'll do one take of you just being a nut job. And action. You know, at the end of Casper, when he comes down, he's in that big shirt. That's the kind of vibe I'm kidding. <laughs> I am out of here. <laughs> nah, 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 crazy lady shopping here, so come on down. Oh, shit. Gallardo just asked Xandar a question. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> a yes or no question was asked for Xandar. Are you kidding me? What a perfect question. <laughs> Gallardo Garage has a question for you, Xandar. He says, Hey, Xandar, should I let some stranger fuck my car for money? We ask this of you, great Xandar. Interesting question. Allow me to think on it. Hmm, yes. Eh, I don't really feel like it. Try again next time. Sorry. Woohoo. So he's up for it. It's not right now. I don't know. He's a mysterious fan. Scammed our fucking scammed our scammed our scammed. Hey man, I told you he's got a few options in his fortunes that are uh, try again. So it's just uh, unlucky. But uh, thank you, Gallardo. <laughs> <laughs> what does your family? Guess better not ask again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Skamdar. But that's the thing with Xandar, dude. If it if he gives you a yes or a no, it's serious, man. It's <laughs> it's like you you won, dude. It's a it's a chance. He's got a headache like Bob Lazar. Uh, I, don't I don't know. It's not clear right now. I don't know. It hurts my head thinking about that question. <laughs> Don't just stay in touch. There is an easier way. Introducing the Ameritech Mobile Family Pack, the first truly affordable mobile phone plan, specially priced just for families. Shouldn't everyone in your family have these flags? There's a shy guy in Mario Party. Mobile. They're doing like Morse code or Call something. One eight hundred mobile one. Get a family pack family phone pack exclusively from Ameritech Mobile. Okay, so these guys Bud. may know a little more than we do about Bud. It's the rice. It's the hops. It's the rice. But of course, we know a lot about other things. Hi, can you buy you something to drink? Yeah, like maybe a light beer? A light beer? Bud Light. Or uh, maybe like a Bud. Bud! It's weird for them to do that and then also sell a light beer, right? Yeah. So bummed when you ask for a light beer. Where do you go? But you don't say exactly what it is. Action and adventure. And the Yo, Salikins, thank you, dude. Salikins, thank you very much. Biggest hits on video? Take off for Blockbuster Video and take home this great movie. From director Ron Howard. Stay Rest in somewhere. peace, you hear me? Blockbuster Video. <laughs> Comes a romantic... I'll quit showing me clips and stuff. Buster Video has more movies than anyone. Damn, in the it took off. For WCSS. That's where it went. It went to space and never came back. Never came back. Berlin. Oh, please come back. Well, isn't there like one remaining blockbuster? Yeah, in Oregon. Isn't there like a documentary or something? You're, I think you were talking about I watched about it. That. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. But it's not as interesting as you'd hope it to be. Sell the pizzas, kid. Sell it. There it is. This is somebody in chat right now. This is 1992. It's definitely somebody in chat right They're here. just giving him money to say stuff. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that the My Pillow guy? Hey, it's me, Mike Lindell, selling. Uh, what are we selling? McBean or cool. McBean. McBean. Say the line, kid. The classic rock station. Oh, classic rock commercial. A station. A commercial for a rock station. That's crazy. This tape has CCR and the doors on it. Mm. I didn't know they worked together. That's cool. Tape and McBean are cool. Walt Disney Pictures. The mouse. The mouse. What is it? Ooh. 
I heard it for a second. It's Arabia. This presents the movie. Cri- Yo, I watched this the other day, and there's a big warning. Like this movie's racist. Don't watch it. Well, well, they, I was like, oh. They okay. always do the thing now where they're like. The things in this movie were a part of the time when it came out, but we don't want to forget a, that we did it. But we also want you to know that but it, it was a different But it made me feel time. racist for liking the movie, <laughs> and I felt bad. I was like, "What? I don't know, dude." They put that in all their old Disney movies. I saw that. They're like, "I felt warning. horrible." Like I'm trying to show this to my kids. I'm like, "Oh, should I not show it to them now? Like, what do I? What, what do, do I, I do? What do I do?" <laughs> it's like, yeah, this stuff happened. And we made a movie, but we don't want to change the movie, so we want to acknowledge that times were different by keeping this movie readily available for your viewing pleasure. Well, I understand where, like, Dumbo was, well, I guess it is, I don't know, man. It's not for me to say. It's not, it's not my place. Oh, this movie is uh It's so good, incredible. though. It made me sad. Incredible. I was like, they're tarnishing the name of one of the best Disney movies. Way better of. than the fucking live-action new one. Yeah. Will Smith, oh, dude, it's horrible. Oh, I can't <clears throat> stand it. The whole time I'm like, can we just watch the? Uh, go home right now, and watch the cartoon. Way rather watch the cartoon than live action. You gotta be kidding me. Some intense energy to free TV. Whoa. It was amazing. Just accept it. Let's party. Run for cover. Oh no. Right Stand-up here comedy was weird. Comedy showcase. Tonight at 1, following Saturday Night Live on 4. Everything was racist. No, I think it's just they have uh, visuals that they, by their standards now, yeah. it's not racist, but maybe insensitive. Insensitive, insensitive. I think was the words they actually used in the prompt. It's racist, I guess, implies like... But I just was like, do I show this to my kids, or do I not show it to them? What do I do yeah, now? I, uh, I mean, that's like, I guess they just want you to be aware. That's the, their only thing, yeah. right? I mean... Yeah, it's just insensitive versus yeah. they don't out they're not, like they're, Jafar doesn't have a scene where he's outrightly racist against someone for their skin color, yeah. but it's just cultural references and things I guess that they feel weird about now, right? Yeah, I love the movie though, but I don't know. I, I was like, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, it's insensitive. Like, it is look, a little, like when like, you look at it, like, like a poo's gone because some people said exactly. it's it's not racist, but I guess it's insensitive. It's stereotypical right? because right. he's always like you know trying to scam people at the at the store. No, he wasn't scamming. He was making an he honest. He was living. selling rotten hot dogs. They to were people a just little saying, dirty, but Homer loved them. <laughs> but Homer, Homer loved, loved them. It. But didn't he also get sick from one one time? He got really sick. Yeah, <laughs> but a poo lived. The American dream, I think, more than anybody. In I agree, dude. Did you see his car? He got. He came here, made a business, had a wife, lots of kids, business owner. Whatever Apu. happened to Apu's brother? Didn't he have like a brother who was always with them, and then all of a sudden he was just gone? I don't know what they're doing with the whole that whole. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. They they. But he's gone. He's not even on the show anymore. Yeah. They don't even do it. But I guess with Disney, the movies are so big, and there's some things they just got to put that little. Warning. I'd say Apu was a little bit more stereotypical than all of Aladdin. But. Happy 25th, Happy 25th, Donahue. The Delta, thank you. Whoa. This is added in. What is this? Yo. <laughs> is that Dave? That's what I was hoping would happen at the, the hockey game I saw. Oh, Grandpa. Just curious, though, Chad, anybody who's, like, in on hockey, is it a, when they want to fight, it's allowed or it's, like, both guys have to agree? What is it? I know we talked about It's tradition at this point, I think. Like, when they fight, is the refs allow it or what is it? Like, I think what they is have the to take thing? off each other's gloves now because I think there was, like, some weird rule where they had to – so it's fully allowed, yeah. but they get penalized. Yeah. Both. Wait, they both get a penalty. Okay. Okay. I just, uh, I almost saw it at the, the Ducks game I went to, but uh, it looked like the guys were like, uh, I don't want the penalty. So they didn't fight, but they still do it. Yeah. To this day, they're still allowed to fight. Yeah. Maybe it's like when they have a really boring show and they're like getting pissed off, you mm-hmm. know, they're like, oh, this, 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 this is getting boring. Hey, you, go out and fight the other guy. <laughs> yeah, no kicks Get the allowed. crowds going, huh? There it goes. Yo, shout, outs, shout outs as well to uh, Dave. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe over to the Dave Archive because this guy is uh, going in there and ripping this stuff and making it accessible, which, you know, otherwise it would be lost for good. Takes uh, two seconds to sub to Dave, and it would be a huge favor to us and to Dave, and we'd appreciate it. Good man. Good man. But all right, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. 
and uh, stay cool, huh? 500k gone, gonna bet on some Goro, baby. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll make it clapping. We just gotta get going right now. I forgot. We're 35 o'clock. We need to go film some stuff. Oh, yeah, baby. Appreciate you guys. As always, you are the best community on Twitch. Hell yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep it OS. Keep it OS. Love you. Bye.